back from the Eclectic Gamer to play Mansions of Madness Second Edition. Oh, you're not doing the voice now. Well, if they if they want to hear the voice, <laughs> they can go watch the intro. Touche. <laughs> uh, so fantastic. We're, <laughs> we're about to start uh, gameplay of Mansions of Madness Second Edition. If you want to see our like intro and setup, watch the previous video. Uh, we are in our hotel room, locked in Innsmouth, and there's someone oh, trying to get in our door perfect. here. Bum, bum, bum. So, so <laughs> that's what's going on. So now we actually haven't explained how to play yet, Alex and you yep. people. So you'll see, you'll see that here. It's a good time to do it. So basically, we're allowed to go in any order we want, and we get two actions each. Uh, I should grab the rules just to make sure I remember. Have a list of actions. Yeah, but the main ones are move, which allows you to move two spaces. Is a space considered a room? A room is a space, and also some of the rooms have these have dividing division. divisions okay. yeah. that give them multiples. Right, right. Uh, and then other things are like the search action, which is I, I can search through the app. I can. Um, I think this is also a search. Uh, explore, which are the red tokens. Uh, interact, and that will be a way to interact with a person or an item that's interacting with the old journal. Basically, touching a token. It's an action. Uh, attacking <laughs> uh, and trading with people. Uh, okay. Wasn't set fire in action? We discovered that like at the very end of our it last was, game. Yeah. We were uh, like, we could have been set fire to everything. <laughs> yeah. When there yeah. are monsters. We all died, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I set fire to the bed. Yeah, fire. Those are, that's a rarely, <laughs> used, rarely used Rarely used actions. Okay. Uh, so you can trade with other players in your space. You can attack if there's people to attack. Then So push another, a monster, an investigator, out of a space is a thing you can do. You can set fire. You can steal stuff. So this is like a legit, like, RPG dungeon crawler type. You can do whatever you want. It's just got well-defined things exactly. that you can do. Yeah. yeah, so you can't go, like, I want to swing on the chandelier if there's not a chandelier interaction token. Okay. But to me, it feels like... So you can't like, set fire to the bed, specifically. Oh, because there's not but a you set fire to the bed set token. fire to the room, I guess. Okay. Um, so... It feels to me like one of the best implementations of a tabletop role-playing game that I've played, so I'm very excited yeah. about it. Very cool. So, so the site tokens I wanted to double-check on. Uh, site tokens are the board corresponding to the site tokens in the app. Each site token is typically placed on a space edge. Investigators can inspect the site tokens and resolve their effects as instructed by the app. But all the effects of a site token does not require an action. Oh, investigating oh, so the site tokens doesn't? Is that what you said? Correct. That just okay, so interacting with the tokens yeah. except for the site tokens yeah. is an action? All right. So, and we can also click on these to find out more information before we right. decide to do anything with like, them. So, for example, and that makes sense. If, I tap yes. on, if I tap on this, it says you put near to the door, you can hear raspy breathing of someone on the other side trying to open the lock. We can either say who is there, throw open the door, or barricade the door. And that this little like sort of arrow lighting symbol is an action. I'm pretty sure we're allowed to do that before we we look at it, but we can we can double check that as well. Oh, so might be cheating. The right second there, door guys. to your room leads to the, the hotel's back and shared bathroom. We already we're told that, and mm -hmm. so we can explore that as an action. And theoretically, that would reveal more tiles. Right. In theory. In theory. Most likely. <laughs> so most uh, likely, if you throw open a door. And we can do it you in whatever order we want. Place. So what do we think? Should and what we... was the question mark? Uh, the that, window? That was the window looking out into the street. So I'll pretend that. But that one's actually an action. That's not just a... That is a search action. The search. The window looks out over the docks. Maybe okay. we can see if there's someone coming to get us. Oh, so it's also worth noting on the move, you move two, but you can break it up. So you could move oh, you one, move do an action, and, move again. and then move again. So Which, anyone who's playing that, yeah, apparently... We for, we didn't realize in the well, first game. The Learn to Play rule book has that in there, but it's a little confusing. The rules reference uh, clarifies it quite a bit. Yeah. Um, we didn't realize that for the first game, and it probably extended the game by half an hour. Wow. So. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like Joe Diamond wouldn't be shy and he would investigate the door. Uh, which door? This one? Yeah, the, the one with the, the, person? With the person at it. You just want to go for it? Alright. Kind of. Joe Diamond wants to go. Alright. Joe Diamond wants to throw the door open. Alright, so he, so <laughs> as Alex's first action. So you're not even going to ask, you're just yeah, going to go. No, I'm just going to open that shit. So throw open the door. You put your shoulder into the door and send it flying open. So now you have to make a strength check. Which is, is that these? Your muscle yeah. Brain. Okay. So, so roll, roll a number four. of dice equal to your strength. Stars are successes. Joe Diamond has a strength of four. Yeah, yep. two successes and one clue. So you could 
spend a clue token to turn that into a success. Mm. I'm going to say it's probably not necessary at this juncture. Yeah. Because <laughs> these kind you're of, not in impending peril. Right, so. right. These it's kind of tests, you don't know how many we need to succeed. Yeah. Okay. So we possibly, it's possibly not enough. So you got two? I got two. Oh. Ooh. The door flies open, slamming into the person on the other side, and he reels back. As the figure recovers, you see from his sallow skin and large, unblinking eyes that he is one of the locals. Discard this explore token and spawn a deep oh. one hybrid as indicated. Spawn one. So we get rid of this. Alex, yeah, what'd you do? So now is the guy we can fight. Um, you might have to make horror checks if he's still alive at the end of the thing, and uh, trying to escape him requires an evade check. Okay. Does he have the option to move into the room once he opens it, or no? Oh. Um, There's some the, flavor text on the bottom there. Yeah. The local clutches his face, and you notice blood streaming from his nose and forehead. The Deep One Hybrid suffers damage equal to your test result. Oh. oh. So he's got two damage. So I, I marked that in the app here. Continue. You may move one space yeah. into the interior hall. I do. That happens a lot with the explore tokens, is mm -hmm. then allows you to move into it as well. So then we have... So we have... So now, it doesn't actually show the monsters on the app. The monsters have rules. They move toward the nearest person. But now you have your second action. You could attack him. If we want to look at what's going on, we click on the monster here. He's marked 72 damage, and he's got 6 health total, so 4 no. more damage. Which Jeez. Is uh, I got brass knuckles, so you might be able to do something. I do have brass knuckles. And they don't go away. I can just use them. So I'm going to use them. Okay. Uh, there are only 5 of these. Yes, right. Okay. Right. So you might have to roll more. Yeah. Why do you have to roll more? I have a strength of four, and I roll two additional dice while attacking unarmed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, this is why I wasn't sure that we should give it to him. But oh, okay. <laughs> so I get, does it max out at five, or do I get to roll one again? Um, I think you get to roll one again. I don't, under, under, under dice, it doesn't say there's a max, so we're, we're going to go with that for now. All right. All right, so you want to attack? So you don't, we don't know actually what the attack is. Sometimes you actually don't even use... Oh, yeah, you might not use strength. Oh, your okay. strength. Okay, yeah. sure, sure. Uh, but you say attack, and you say, what are you attacking with? You can attack the heavy weapon, bladed weapon, firearm, spell, or unarmed. I don't have any weapons, so... So yeah, that allows you to help, help when you're attacking unarmed. But you get to watch dice. So it gives you like a little kind of plot of what happens. Uh, you okay. catch... Oh, Agility. Uh, you catch your opponent. Better at. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think it's. Yeah, it's oh, everyone you attacking unarmed. unarmed. All right. So you catch your opponent's wrist above the head, above your head, and then pivot, tw pivot, twist, and attempt a throw. Roll agility, needing two successes. And right. because it's an attack with unarmed, you do get your bonus. So there's one success, mm -hmm. and I rolled two. You need, you need two more. There's two, two successes. There's two successes. And I needed all of it. So you, if right. you pass. You hurl your opponent to the floor. The monster suffers three damage. <laughs> if you fail, you accomplish a little more than shoving your opponent around for a moment. So he takes three damage, but he's not dead yet. Or is he? And that was my first and second action. Yep. So what do the numbers oh. on this mean? Sorry. Yeah, I was going to ask. What are the numbers uh, on that? One is so, the yeah. horror check, and one is the evade check. Oh, oh okay. So evade is when you try to do anything but attack when you're in his space, and the other is um, if he's alive at the end of the turn during the mythos phase, the bad guy step, bad stuff will happen, and then everyone has to make a horror check if they can see a dude. So I think killing that guy would be good. Yeah, but that's the only you're the only yeah. one. Yeah. So he's yeah. the only one that has some sort of weapon. Um, I have a wither spell. Oh, that's right. And it's got a ring. So, like, this door looks open to me. It doesn't look like a door door. So you just break I, it. I concur. So, that's a little... And it look, yeah, it doesn't look like a door. So, I think I can attack. So, I'm going to try to attack from here and then see what happens? Yes. So, I go to the monster drawer again, click on him, and I say attack. With spell. Attack with spell. Um, as you utter the arcane words, you suddenly find yourself alone, enveloped in darkness disembodied voice questions you in a language that you do not recognize but instinctively understand. So I need a lore test. Two successes. So, Wither doesn't actually add anything. Uh, didn't we have a... I can perform additional puzzle stuff. Someone else got like a... Oh, yeah, it was a will bonus. So I need two successes on these four dice. What? 
Did you need will for this? No, it's just no. Okay. I, was, I was trying to remember what I dice with. Alright, so okay. I got three successes, and then that's so I don't need any more, I don't think. If you pass, a far off sound echoes in your mind, and the veil of darkness lifts. You recognize it as your foe's scream. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. Plus so, uh, two. So I do so five. five. I could have one shot at him, theoretically. Uh, <laughs> if you fail, the voice begins to chant. Uh, flip the spell you attack with. So he takes a bunch of damage. I do confirm that I want to discard him. <laughs> so he has six health. Yeah. Did we know that? Yes. Oh. It was up upper there. Uh, your attacker collapses into the floor. As he falls, something clatters from his stubby, webbed fingers. Place the cult sigil unique item in the Deep One hybrid space. And I have to flip my wither card. And there's there's five, I think, different copies of this card. And the idea is, after you cast it, something happens. You don't know what's going to happen. So, the spell rides in your mind like a living thing, lashing out at, ran at random around you. Suffer one face-down damage, then discard this spell and gain another wither spell. So, I need a damage. Face-down damage. The, um... What does that These look are like? The damages. Okay. Yeah, so the damage is when they... they We're just going to draw a random one for it, you. If you get dealt damage, then you just get dealt a face-up card and it has some sort of effect. It might say to flip it up. Uh, it might say something else. Uh, but number of total cards of each is what matters. Yeah. Okay. You might get stuff that says turn something face-up. Sure. Uh, and then sometimes it won't matter. And sometimes... Oh, are you shuffling the damages? Yeah. Oh. You're supposed to give random damages. So. Uh, that's fair. But sometimes they'll say you're supposed to take a specific type of damage, which is why I didn't have Oh, I don't, I don't think it does. I don't remember that. We'll see. Well, remember how Jason had to suffer a broken leg and then suffer another broken leg? Oh, yeah. He still <laughs> wanted, he was still want to have random stuff happen. So I have one more action after that attack. I can't go and pick up that item. Should I investigate the old journal? Should I look out the window? What do we think? <laughs> I like the I idea like... of you casting a spell through the door and then just turning through the pages yeah, of the journal. Yeah, I like the journal, too. <laughs> so, so we go to our item drawer here and I click on the journal. You've tracked all the evidence you've managed to gather on the Marsh family. You file evidence that you have found to see how close you are uh, to providing, proving your suspicions. If you find enough evidence, you might be even be able to solve the mystery here and now. Uh, it's not an action, so I'm going to click on it to see what happens. Still a long way to go before you accuse the Marsh family of malfeasance. You need multiple more pieces of evidence. Okay, so that's not right. actually an action. So that yet. wasn't an action. Um, so maybe look out the, the window? window. Sure. Dingy window looks out over the docks. I search it. You struggle to see through the dense fog, but you believe you see a small fishing boat out in the bay. As long as the captain of the boat is not in league with the locals, you... This could be your ticket out of town. <laughs> you will need to find a way to contact the boat, gain one clue, and discard the search token. A boat captain in Innsmouth. Yeah, that sounds safe. All right, so I got a clue. It was cool. And that's my actions. Okay. So, she's definitely so going to the I bathroom. could go. I could go in here and pick up this evidence, but I'm inclined to go into the bathroom. Yeah, because Alex can get that next turn. Yeah. Right? So I interact with that evidence or stunning explore. 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 Okay. Behind your hotel room, a cramped hallway leads to the hotel's public bathroom. Place the bathroom tentacle pile as indicated and discard all explore tokens leading to it. Here. So theoretically, we could have gotten to this room like by, through that. by going yeah. up the hallway. So there could have been other things leading to this. Bathroom? Bathroom. That's right. All right, so we're going to have to readjust. Uh, oh, no. No, we lost one. You killed one. Let's killed one, yeah. <laughs> Let's tell it like it is here. It's fair. All right. All right. It was uh, just a zombie. <laughs> an end table sits in the corner of the hall. Place a search token as indicated. All right. A, a worn door leads into the shared hotel bathroom. Place an explore token as indicated. Opposite the bathroom is a heavy door marked Henderson's. Place an explore token as indicated. There doesn't appear to be a door here. You may move one space into the explored area. Right. Well, I don't think opening a new place and potentially exposing a monster, a monster is a great idea. Yeah, I agree. I but think we're going to search the sun table. I like it. You dig through the contents what? of the drawers no. looking for anything out of place. Test lore. Oh, two. Nice. Bad. Good. Unexpected. 
You find an old piece of paper at the top of one drawer. The strange script on it seems very out of place indeed. Gain the Feed the Mind spell, then discard the search token. Nice. Ooh, you are another investigator within range, becomes focused, and then flip this card. I don't actually... So being coming focused means that um, you automatically turn all your uh, magnifying glasses to the stars. Oh, you can just start and do that once. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, You're you like get, a Super Joe Diamond for one turn. Yeah. You get um, a card, basically, that says you're focused, and then yeah. you can choose to discard it. All right, so we're done with the investigator phase, right? Yes, yep. we are. Confirm. Give me those phase. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. You're suddenly filled with a flash of headlights. Blinded by a flash of headlights. Your ears are filled with the blaring sound of a horn. This mythos phase event affects the investigator in a street with the lowest influence. Nobody's, Nobody's in the street. In the street. I was going to say, there's no windows where I am. How do I get blinded <laughs> by headlights? All right. All right, so that was it. Cool. We're good to go. So do we want to investigate the rest of this place first or go out on the street? I feel like investigating this place is pretty good. Yeah. I agree. I'm a completionist. I kind of so. want to open the bathroom door. Well, why don't you do that first? Okay. Just in case there's a monster, we want to kill it right away. You open the door to reveal a dingy bathroom. Discard the floor token. Look around the filthy bathroom. You spot a ratty newspaper sitting on the tank of the toilet. Place the search token as indicated. A uh, panel on the opposite wall looks like it opens to the other side. Place the explore token as indicated. Oh. You may move one space to the explored area. All right. Um, do I read on the toilet or do I? So it's a panel to another room. We think. I think so. Yeah. Um, or do I investigate the next room? Investigate the next room. All right. Not reading on the toilet. <laughs> you push and slide a panel Ooh, to the side, passage. discard this floor token, and place a secret passage as indicated. Wow. What is a secret passage? Something like that. Uh, the beach extends across the entire back of the hotel That's between the two piers. It's sandy monotony disrupted only by a forlorn shack. Place the beach tile as indicated and discard an explorer site token leading to it. Beach tile. All right, so we're gonna have to rearrange our our business here a little bit. The beach tile. Right. I will take it. Guards. We could also rotate it so it's the other way. Yeah, we could rotate. That seems like. Is it a better plan a given better our plan. table orientation? Yeah. All right, we're still all on the beach. On the app. No beach. You're beachless. It'll be a little confusing. It, well, it matches, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. And it's just rotated. Eh. Do you want me to take yeah, half? Yeah, That would be cool in the app if you could rotate it. It's double sided. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I have a dock. Looks like a little shack. I got a lot of caves. Another dock. You should alphabetize these. They, they're. Oh, here we go. They won't be alphabetized on both sides. Oh, that's a good point. So, because there's like an A and B, and then there's like. Another, there's like a B and a J. I don't know, I'm making stuff up. Right. I was orienting them inside versus outside. So, an old robot sits on the beach. So Let's search token as indicated. Or innocuous sounding versus like <laughs> cultish sounding. A single pin on the wall seems to lead into the building <laughs> behind the shack. Place a secret patch token as indicated. So, I guess we have two secret patches. You should make like a file folder. You have another secret yeah. patch. Um. On the far side of the beach, you see a dock. Holding a boat rental building. Place a site token as indicated. Do you think we just have a bajillion secret passages? What, yeah. what does the secret passage look like? This? Another one of these? Yeah. Okay. I think it's supposed to be like this. Theoretically, like, secret passages don't have to be like right next to each other. They could be across the thing. Oh, right. A door off. So we need a site token? Uh, a door off the beach leads to a room behind the hotel. Place an explore token as indicated. Oh, I need a site token. Now I'm feeling like. A site token? Oh. Now I'm feeling like we, uh, we're we going to need to go that way, so we should explore here first. A pier rises at the know. edge of the beach, place a site token as indicated. Okay, so our crazy map grows. Yeah. Uh, so that was... Alright, so, so that was my two think, actions. I don't think it said you could go in there for free, right? No, it didn't. Uh, so those were my two actions. Uh, you moved in. No, you need to... Yeah, you explored and you explored again. I explored. Right, Wait, so you, I was here. Yeah, yeah explore, explore. 
Alright, so I think Stephanie might be right. That this, well, that's where we're going to end up. We need more evidence, so we should probably yeah. explore the hotel yeah, a little more. Yeah, I'm sorry to say we need to go back. back. Sure. All right, so it'll actually be a trade action for you to pick that, that clue up. Will it? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Trade with the floor. Um, do you want to, since I can't, I guess I could go one, two, and then open a thing, and then maybe Alex be around to punch something, if need be. Like, we'll pick that up last. Ooh, I like that. So if I went as move two spaces of my action and then explore that. What are the two things here? Uh, One's a room. One is the second bedroom, I believe. Yeah. Number two. The door probably is locked. probably locked. And then the other one. Uh, is that? Okay. Um, it's a side door in the alley. Right the All right, let's start with the, this room. Oh, uh, it's, it's locked, so I, I didn't you, even have an Oh, answer. you, you can't, can't even do, yeah. you do it. Okay. So. I could have also gone this way. We think that's better. Oh, because theoretically we. The Alex couldn't get to that. So that was the thing. Been. So I think I should go to the alley. Sure. Sure. All right, this could be dangerous, you guys, but we're doing it. Ooh. Ooh. You peer down a dark alley to the west of the building. Place the alley corner two and alley two tiles as indicated, and discard the explore tile and site tokens leading to this area. I have alley two. It's a big ass map. Alley yeah, corner yeah, you two. Yeah, it. I don't know which is which. The one with like a fire barrel it is right this outside is this door. That. And then this is the other. Uh, and I think it rotates. Could be either because way. the lamp is on this side. The oh. lamp goes over here. Oh, okay. uh, I said plate remove any sight tokens leading to it, so let's go this way. I think I don't think we have any new tiles yet. You notice a stack of several crates. Place a search token as indicated. Opening one of those. One door leads to the building in the adjacent block. Place an explore token as indicated. Here? That goes here. Here. Where the oh, they're there. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't see the door on that day. Because the thing blocks it. Yeah. Another door leads to a room behind the hotel. Place an explore token as indicated. Odds are these go to the same room. Yeah. Um, the other side of the alley opens into a pier. Place a site token as indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. Do I want to? I might as well. This one's just well. super yeah. dangerous right now. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay, so that's my turn. Now it's Alex's turn. Alex. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah, you moved and then interacted. Yeah. Hmm. So you could pick up and then move. I could pick and move. I could. We could just leave this here in case we have to pick it up backtrack. Because it's not going. You do anywhere. need to backtrack, that's true. So you could come and explore the crates. Yeah. Okay, maybe you don't need backtrack. Chances right. are good. Or we can play it safe and just pick up the item. And yeah. Why don't I just pick it up? Because even if you move like over here, you would be able to interact with any of that stuff. This is the only thing you'd be able to interact with. So, let's see. So I, interact. I, mean, I don't think the crates are going to spawn a thing no. that we can't fight, do you? No, no. that's true. Not like a little mouse or some a zombie I mean, hiding in the... I don't know. I mean, it's Cthulhu, so it could be. <laughs> Who knows? A cultist hiding in the crates. It could be. And then I'll move out to here. Why not? All right. All right, and it's already known, so that's not. Um, and you're not. There's no site token in your space. So you can't. Not. You can't look at those. So um, that's the explorer phase, right? Yep. Meet those phases. Silence reigns. Complete enveloping silence. No immediate effect. That's good. We like silence. I hear the sound of approaching voices. That's not silence! <laughs> <laughs> Outside the hotel, a small mob of shambling locals is beginning to gather. They shout words of some indecipherable language at the hotel. Something tells you they are here for you. Discard the sight token to the south of the street too. And spawn a riot as indicated. This is the Innsmouth mob. It does not activate this round. More people from the town continue to join the ever-growing mob. Fighting so many people will prove difficult. You had better evade them. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range, the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been resolved, tap the end face button. And what is the range? So, range, it's, it, yeah, it's not like, when you think of range, you think of like, a range, right? But the, but the phrase range is actually a keyword, so it is, um, the, the, 
the range of effects that use the phrase within range is up to three spaces away. Range cannot be counted through walls or doors unless an effect specifically allows it. Range can be counted through impassable borders. So Alex and I are both in range, but since Stephanie has a door in between. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I think it's that thing we did, we did before is that we, Alex and I should both resolve the same horror check yeah. before we're doing one for each other person, slows it down. Apparently, it's not how it's supposed to go. So the mob hoists an effigy on high, and then another, and then another. The pit of your stomach falls as you realize these effigies are crude renditions of you and your family. Ooh. You suffer two horror. Um, so we would take two wounds each, but will negates. So you make a will check. Gross. Um, and for every success you get, it negates one of the horror. So I have free will. I don't think I uh, have anything that helps with this. I have a thing to help, but... So I negate one of them, so I take That's one horror, and I take it face up. So it says paranoia. Uh, keep face up whenever you end your turn within range of another investigator. Flip one horror face up. So I have to, like, I should stay away from you guys. No. Once you get another horror. Like, no, right no, now no. you have no other horrors but face up. So. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I rolled two successes. And, uh, so you so know it. So it negated. Cool. Go diamond. Not afraid of anything. <laughs> not afraid <laughs> of that mob. Yeah. So, cool. basically, we're not investigating that site unless you want to try to evade them in our... The evaded. I have a feeling that this connects. Yeah. So. Wait, no, this is a wall. Yeah, no, this. This connects. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good call. That's a, um, so I was gonna look at look at the monsters real quick to see what the evade is. Um, if you make an evade check, you like click on the monster and do an evade. Uh, yeah, the monsters can move through the doors, right? Unless you barricade them. That is correct. We don't have any things to barricade right now. No. So, anyway, what do we think we want to do? Are you going to come back and try to help out and get all this stuff, Steph? Or are you going to keep exploring over there? I don't know that it makes sense for me to try to, like, get back over here. Because it'll take me one, two, three, four. Like, this is the farthest I could get. Yeah, do you want to try to I open that door and see what happens? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, but we also have a lot of stuff over here to explore, so... That's true. In fact, we can't even get both of these on the no, you can't. The site tokens are free. So the upper right. right next so if to you the... went this way, you would get the site token that way. You'd get the site token that way, and then you could interact with one of these. Uh, does it make sense for me to go inside right now, or should we stay? No, stay over in this area. I feel yeah. like there's something important in here. In the bedroom. In the bedroom, because there's a key. So I feel like I feel I feel like the key is gonna yeah. be in the hotel somewhere. Yeah. I but agree. I feel like the key's gonna be over there. So you think I should go this way? think so. All right, one. And we'll get the newspaper later. I'm sure there's more evidence there. Yeah. Uh, or clue so you did a move action. You have one more move left. Okay, what do we got? You try the door, but the store is closed and the door is locked. After a moment, you hear a voice from the other side say, password. You can check the cult sigil unique item for a password if you have it. Oh, I don't have no, that. I don't have it. Um, so, force my way in. I don't know that that's great. I only have strength three, so... Do you want to you want to not do that? I kind of want to not do that. All right, so you you, just, you didn't actually take an action. Okay. Well, I mean, you, I, move I back? think you still have to move there to be okay. able to interact with it and see what it was. Well, okay. I mean, theoretically, you moved through there, so you would know did. what it was. We right? should have checked it when I moved through. Okay, so let's, let's pretend like we did that. Okay. I'm cool with that because that like we're we're still learning how to play a little bit. Sure, sure. <laughs> so do you uh, want to interact with the clue token? Yeah. Right. Search the. Search the newspaper. Yeah, the search the newspaper. The ten-year-old newspaper. You skim through the paper. Make a test observation. It's a three. Go right here. Two, Two successes. Right. You can read. <laughs> I can't always read. <laughs> Buried on page eight, you find an article about the Marsh family and their sudden inexplicable wealth. Gain the circumstantial evidence, unique item, and one clue. Then discard the search token. All right, so theoretically, can circumstantial evidence. So theoretically, I can investigate mm. the. Which do we have to tell it that we have evidence? No, I think it knows once we get those. Okay. So should I compile evidence just to see what's up? Is that an? It's not an action. It doesn't say an action. Okay. Why not? Still have a long way to go. We need multiple more pieces of evidence. All right. Anyway, this is a new this is a new mechanic, so it's, it's interesting. Okay, so Stephanie, 
investigated that as her first action. Mm -hmm. now, and now, are you going to come toward us? Yeah, sure. It seems like there's a bunch of stuff to do out here, and we're, this, this seems like the end game. Maybe. Maybe. Think? We don't yeah. know. Okay. So we need to go say. We need to get that the sigil to that room. Over there, yeah. That seems very important. Um, should I keep going this way? And then Joe Diamond can go that way? Yeah. Sure. Seems like a little bit of a waste. The riot is like going to follow it. us, but, which is a shame. Yeah. But um, I don't think there's much we can do besides that. So, yeah, yeah I think you should go that way. All right, I so should, should, I search, should I search this first then? Sure. Since I'm here. So you can get... Oh, you I can, can get take there. a double move and get there. Several crates are stacked in the corner of the alley. I'll search that. While you're doing that, why don't I go ahead and just... You rummage yeah. the crates? Well, because if, oh, case, if there's a monster case, shows case, up, you think I'm fighting the damage things. Yep. You may yep. rummage the crates looking for anything that could be of use. Observation is five. Nice. So, player order matters, apparently. Three. Three. Especially when it's so easy to do, yeah. there's no reason to. Right? There's no reason yeah. to not. You overturn a large crate and uncover something that could be of great use. Gain a kerosene lantern common item and discard the search. We got token. a kerosene lantern. We got an oil lamp. We are very well lit. I we're feel gonna like... Burn, we're going to burn this mother to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> what's going to happen. So you may discard this card to convert all... Um, our... Uh, uh, magnifying glasses into... Um... Successes while being while attacked unarmed. While attacking unarmed. Oh. Cool. So you just smack him with a lantern. I guess. Should I move up here then? Um, yes. Uh, oh, I can move a monster within range one space at the beginning of my turn, but I don't want to move him anywhere. So. Yeah. But when he come, hopefully when he comes for me next turn, I can move him back. If he's coming for you. We don't know if he's coming just going to move one space? I mean, I want to investigate this, and there's no reason to... Yeah. I mean, I could move two and then... Get a free sight. Get a free sight? I don't know what we think. I think it, you should mostly... Do it in order, do it in order. Next turn, and then go to the next one. All right. Yeah. And so then should... Alex um, move four. Alex, you should Double move, move to there. Yeah. Cool. All right. End of the turn. Be those. Be those. The clues you have gathered disprove everything you once knew about the world. This mythos effect... Offend... Affects the investigator with the most clues. I have three. Three? Three. So we get to choose which one of right. it is. Alright, well, let's see. I think. Uh, should I double check? Yeah, let's see that. that. I'm not reading it, guys! <laughs> yeah, I don't know when we choose. Mythos phase, the same phases. Event step, monster step, horse step. During each step. Uh, so it's the event step, so I'm gonna look up event step. If we don't get to choose, it should be me, because I have the ability, if you know what close to gain clues, and discard Oh, we call them. During the event step, the apple generate one or more Mythos events and resolve. After all Mythos have been resolved, the apple automatically presents the monster step. That was not helpful. Um, Otherwise, I'd say it should just go to whoever has the best ability to roll. But. The specific scenario has a specific choose, or the acts investigators have performed around. All Mythos events for the round have been resolved. So I don't see anywhere where it says... I think we probably just choose one of us. Okay. So, so what are you we doing? If you review your notes, attempting to reconcile your new information with the world you remember. Lore, two successes. You have higher lore than I do, but it's four to three, so it's not... It's only one for You pass, you determine that your past ignorance was understandable but dangerous. So you want me to do it? Um, well, the fail is you just... You discard two clues and gain a face-down horror, which I could discard as long as I yeah, yeah, lose another clue. Right, so you it. want me to just do it? Yeah. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to look at it beforehand. It's very... It's very yeah, confusing. I don't know. Two successes. Two successes. All right, so you win. it doesn't matter. So, we did that wrong. We apologize, Internet. Well, we did say that if we didn't know what it was, we were going to pick the... That's true. So no, no, I broke it. Mouse moves two spaces toward the alley corner too. Oh, sorry, I killed part of the mob. So they don't oh. go into the hotel necessarily. The locals' wet, unblinking eyes are ever watchful for the intruders. Each investigator who shared a space with the Innsmouth mob during the movement suffered one face on damage, becomes stunned, and moves to the Innsmouth mob's base. So they like nobody drag is, you along yeah, with them. That's not no, funny. Nobody's there. So this will have attacked the investigator in the space of the lowest. Agility. Agility. No investigators in space. Shouting and croaking, you hear some members of the Innsmouth mob break, break away from the main body. Spawn a maniac in the Innsmouth mob's space. 
Someone with an axe. What is with this town? Where are you? And they're pitchforks. There he is. He's behind the... the, the oh, the they're hiding. Oh, there's only one of them? There's two. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he falls over. So those Man, were these those, those were from the first edition, right? The maniacs, for sure. Um, I think so. Cool. Yeah, it slides out easily. So yes. Uh, the maniac moves two spaces for the nearest investigator, then attacks the investigator in space with the highest. Sorry, influence. Adam. That was ridiculous. Do not approve. It was probably like we've had three rounds where it hasn't attacked anybody. So the monster attacks. Yeah, it does. Maniac approaches with confidence, smirking, and then he grabs you with both hands and attempts to overpower you. Make a strength test of two. Uh, At least you have clue tokens. It's true. I'm trying to figure out if it is helpful. Alright. Oh, I fight him up by myself. As you pass, you shift your balance and hurl the maniac to the ground. The monster suffers one damage. If you fail, the maniac overpowers you. And you can, like, push him away, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're both going to come for you in a certain anyway, but... Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. So which one's horror the horror? Check. The top one or the bottom one? The top one is the evade check. So the bottom one? So the riot. The, so the He's maniac's the... one and the riot is four. Whoa! Damn, that's... Yeah, the riot is crazy. It is. And it's seven to evade the riot. It's just, like, ridiculous. Riot begins to make disgusting japes and euphemisms, brandishing their weapons in odd and uncomfortable poses. Suffer one face down horror, then flip one horror face up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mimicking the uncomfortable poses. Kleptomania, keep face up. Whenever you end your turn in the space with another investigator, take one item at random from another investigator in your space. Nice. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, we really don't want to be hanging out with you. No, apparently, <laughs> apparently we don't. Uh, so we're done then, right? Our work here is done. Do you not yep. also suffer a horror from the maniac, or you suffer it from you, you? You make a horror check against the highest one in range. Oh, okay. So you're not you're never gonna get hit by like five guys. I was gonna say that that could get ridiculous. Should I go first? Well, let's figure out what we want to do here. Yeah. It would be nice to figure out what that is. What should I do? Because I feel like if I stay in the street, I'm screwed. It does seem that way. Yeah, uh, we might need to come here with some weapons and stuff. Yeah. So I kind of want to run away. You could run away, right? Because you can shove him. I can shove him at the beginning of my turn and then walk away. And then walk away. I could shove him for free, search, and then walk two. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they can, they're going to be able to get to me if I do that. He's going to get to you. The riot, it sounds like, stays on the street. It does seem that way. Well, I can deal with that maybe then. Um... Because how far does he move? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, he hasn't moved yet. They move, he moved two last time. He, he did two. Move two last time. Because, because if two he moves, because if he moves two again, and you're oh, yeah, there, he'll be there. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, 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 we can risk that. That's okay, cool. do it. So, or should you want me to do me first? Shoo! See if I need help. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna search uh, this one over so here. So you, like, we try the, the door handle to find it locked. Shoved bang in the door. But you cannot hear a response over the din of the angry mob. Maybe I could have done it before, but I can't now. Uh, I can yeah. also shove him that way and go this way if we want to try that. But if you did that, you would be moving and then. Well, you, theoretically, if I open that, oh, I might be able to move into it. That's true. It is a little risky because you might be moving into another monster, but. What do we, what do we think is the best idea? Um, Let's go for exploring more. Okay. But not, all right, so, so we move, shove him, him that, that way, way instead. Then I do a move action, and I go here, and I get to do the sight token just as a freebie. The alley opens into a pier. An investigator in the alley may reveal the adjacent area. So alley two. Or I, I mean alley two. I can reveal the yeah, adjacent area. Yeah, I was going to say you're in alley two. Oh, oh big. Whoa. Big. Waves lap against the shore the as you look out beyond yeah. the building. Pier. Place the pier as indicated and discard all exploring slate tokens leading to it. Which I think is also that one. I get more room. Have a stack. Yeah. I'm about done. Here. This last one. As always. So this connects, looks like? Yeah. Which is why I just got another sync token. 
number of crates and barrels are grouped together, place a search token as indicated. Um, a waterlogged boat uh, rots in the low in the water off the pier, place a search token as indicated. Uh, a snack stand sits on the pier and has been hastily closed up, place a search token as indicated. I did think we needed food. All right, so that's that. Um, I have one more movement and one more action. Mm -hmm. Don't want to I could just run over here and get away from everybody, or I could open up this last area. I'm okay with you running that way. Do you want to click on the explorer before you move? Because huh? that is a oh, thing. Oh, see what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Forgot, keep forgetting to do that. Door leads into a small room behind the hotel. The room is without windows or lights, and you strain your eyes to see inside. You can only explore if you have a light source. And my kerosene lantern is a light source. You doing it? I don't know. So the day, so I could. So if you go there, we think he'll move here, and then I'll probably save. Probably I could also move here and search, and we think I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Right. I will have to make horror checks. Yeah. Whereas if I go in here, there might be a door, and I won't have to make horror checks. Yep. I'm gonna go. I'm doing it. I'm exploring, right. guys. You guys can save me if I fail, right? Not really. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you hold the light high to illuminate the room. Shelves of books that have collected years of dust line the walls. Place the library tile as indicated and discard any explorer tokens leading to it. Uh, then place the darkness, darkness. Place darkness in each space of the library. I will look up what dark how darkness works. What is darkness? Is it this? Like a square, dark looking thing? Square dark. Okay. I don't know. It's one of the like. Location thing. I don't know. I am looking it up. <laughs> I really wish I had more pictures in the reference guide. That would be helpful. Oh, maybe it's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be opposite it. the fire. Makes no sense. Yes, this is darkness. It's underneath. It's like the, a broken lantern. It's underneath the text there. Yeah, it's hard to see it. So darkness. An investigator in place containing oh. darkness cannot spend clue tokens to convert dice results or perform additional puzzle steps. Investigators ignore darkness in a space containing a light source or a, or fire or a space adjacent to a space containing a light source or fire. Space that contains a light source, if an investigator in the space has a light source or a light source has been played or dropped in space, cannot be placed in a space that contains darkness. No double darkness. So wait, if you have a light source, you can do stuff? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. All it prevents you from doing is using clue tokens, basically. Okay. Your eyes scan across the shelf across shelf after shelf of books. Many of them appear to be about the history of Innsmouth and the surrounding area. Perhaps you could uncover some information on the March family. By talking as indicated, excuse me. You may move one space into the explored area. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I have one more movement, but no more actions. So I think staying here is okay. Yep. Should I explore? I think I'll just do his thing. Do yeah. Thing. I'm going to use the cult sidger. Sidger? Sigil. Sigil. The map looks good. I'm just trying to make sure the map stays on the... Uh, stays on the camera. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you try the door. Sort of All right, so you want to check the cult sigil? I do. You might have to, like, do a... So this is a store, a you think. Turn the sigil over in your Face hand. Door. Yeah. And find a word engraved in the back. Dagon. You mutter the word through the door. And a moment later, you hear the click of a deadbolt. Gain one clue. Ooh, you guys. Oh. The back area of the store is cluttered <laughs> with boxes and crates. It's another Place the storefront tile as indicated and discard all explore and site tokens leading to it. Which is probably these two. Can't tell yet. And then, yeah, it looks like it's a big four two by two. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a four one. Lobby. It's got half an alleyway in it, so look for yeah. half an alleyway in it. There, there we go. go. Street. How you doing, way. camera? Camera looks. Camera looks like it really likes this. Cool. <laughs> oh, the figure who opened the door stands nearby and says, "Welcome." Place a person token as indicated. A person? All right. So one of these. One of those. One of those. Ah, okay. Looks like the purple one. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, I don't know if it matters. So. An old radio sits behind the front one? counter, yep. quietly hiss hissing static. Place an interact token as indicated. Among the oddities, a box on display in the front counter catches your interest. Place a search token as indicated. You know, there's a fire extinguisher mounted on the wall behind the counter. Place a fire extinguisher common item as indicated. Yeah. 
in a prominent glass case in the corner, a bizarre statue is on display. Place a search token as indicated. Are we out of search tokens? No, they're right here. Oh, they're in a different bin. Where is this go? Here? Uh, I think um, it goes on the... No, it's, it's behind the counter over here. Behind the counter. Um, we got the... Okay, a small but heavy shelf stands near the door. You could use it to fortify the store should the need arise. Place a barricade as indicated. So you could barricade the door if you want. More? Outside the store, an alley leading off oh, the street wow. wraps around the building. Place a sight token as indicated. You may move space. one space into the explored area. Oh, Lord. Right. I'm in. I think we'll be okay with we'll move this way. So that was one action. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I would... In interact general, interact with the lady? I would talk with the lady before but, I start grabbing her stuff. I will say that I have a higher influence, so I don't know if that... So do I just ignore her and walk into the I next room? I wouldn't walk into the next room, because we want you to, like, at least touch one of those things, right? Yeah. What are the two things? Uh, well, there's the fire... You could just pick up the fire Pick up the heavy weapon fire the, extinguisher. Uh, <laughs> this one is the radio. Is somebody else having a weapon uh, to get to? The radio, radio crackles, crackles static. static. Then you hear a voice. This is the captain of the lively. I am currently moored in the bay by Innsmouth. Is anyone there? You could ask him, can you pick us up? Or ask him where he's from. That's the boat we want to get. Maybe. 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 A wooden box with sliding panels on its surface sits on the counter. So that's, that's going to be like a puzzle, puzzle box. Yeah. And she says, it is not often that I receive visitors from the Order. How can I help you? You can say, the Order? Ask about the March family. Attack her. Or say, just browsing. I think just browsing is cancel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just browsing. Uh, Actually. All right. What do we? You could just ask her about the Marsh family. Yeah, I, I think asking the lady about the Marsh family is a dangerous thing to do because she might say the Marsh family stab. Only <laughs> <laughs> one way to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Only one way to find out. I am a detective. Asking her about the order seems like not yeah, the best. Not way the answer. best way. Yeah. So Marsh family. Yep. The Order in Innsmouth was founded by Obed, Obed Marsh, but you would know that if you were a true member. Game one clue. Ooh. Yeah, I knew she'd call me out on that. Realizing you are yeah. not a member of the Order, the woman draws a long dagger, discard this person token, and spawn a cultist as indicated. So the correct answer is just not talking to her, it sounds like? Or just attacking her, maybe or kill her before. Or attacking her, her, yeah. Um, can Stephanie go help you? Because he's no more. I have no, no more, more actions. actions, yeah. actions left. Yeah, Stephanie. Can I don't know. Help, I don't I have any weapons or anything, so I can try. Do you think, think that's the best idea? Sure. I mean, Stephanie has to make a horror check at that point, but yeah. Yeah. Cultists are paper, aren't they? All right. I would assume they're pretty easy. What do you? Uh, click attack. Are you attacking unarmed? Unarmed. You dance in and out of your opponent's reach with your heart in your throat. Okay. Jabbing at. Throwing jab after jab. Agility plus one. If the monster suffers damage equal to your test ball. Um, I spent a clue token. You get so you I get to do all of them? So one clue token? Do I not? That's no, it's one no. Oh, it's one per. It's one per. Joe's thing is he gets to I get to do two. Alright. Like so this one is I can like discard it to do all We don't know how much the He's got six health. He's got six health. He's got six health? Oh. Yeah. You rolled one, right? I rolled one. I spent a clue token. So I don't know if spending four is going to help. No. Other than if he attacks you and you could, like, do damage back to him. I'm too weak. Oh. What? Oh. What? Sorry. I just realized the Bible that I have allows me or another investigator within range to discard one face down horror. You've been within range a couple of times. But did I have this when I was in I don't think you did. But no, because you were in the future. building and I wasn't. So yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah, but it would also take an action, so we don't have to go back yeah. and do that. But for future What's reference, feed the mind do. No, it just allows somebody to become focused. Ah, uh, okay. And it's an action. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't do that. Anyway, All right. So, so me attacking the cultist probably was not a good call because but it is done. He's I would, six health. I would almost so. suggest using. But it all is your... done. Yeah. I would just use all your clues because you can get more clues as an action, right? Oh, right. right. So he takes four damage. Yeah. Sure. Because the other thing is, like, when he attacks. Wah, wah, wah. And then I'll lose an action to replace two clues, but yeah. But when he attacks, theoretically, in the future, 
um, if you could, you could damage him and kill him before horror checks have him. Oh, okay. That's that's the only reason it seems like maybe. Her. All right, so we're all done. Damage her. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is a her. It is a her. Good point. I guess we should have just killed her. Yeah, we knew she it. was a cultist. Right. The ground gives way beneath Jenny Barnes' foot, threatening to twist really? an ankle or worse. Jenny Barnes suffers two face down damage, agility negates. Then she flips two damage face up. And I have no more holy tokens, so. You take one damage, one which then gets face up. Minor injury, only a flash wound, no additional effect. Flip your face down. Nice. Remember which one that is. Isabeth Mob moves two spaces toward Alley 2. Here. They drag with them anyone they can get their sticky hands on. Each investigator who shared a space with the mob during the movement suffers one face down damage. Nobody. Uh, comes down. Maybe I should have gone this way if they're going to start, like, rolling through. Yeah. Well, you can still... Well, you can go this way, too. Yeah. Yeah. And the mob attacks each investigator. No investigators. Maniac moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator and then attacks the investigator. No uh, investigators. Blood. Nice, we did good, you guys. Yeah. Cult moves two spaces. This is already in the monster attacks. Then attacks each investigator in space. Each investigator, so it's attacking each of us. Mm -hmm. Monster attacks. Swing staff, great fervor, and build skill. Suffer two face down damage, and the negates. Ooh. Lame. Find a way to hit you. And Alex, you do your agility? No, wait. I have five. I'm good at this. Two. Alright, so you don't take any damage. I have four, but. Ooh, must resolve okay. a horror check <laughs> against the highest horror uh, within range, highest horror rating. So each of you guys is cultist. Okay. Called as Snickers, and you realize you have stepped within a glyph etched into the ground. It glows red as you study the symbols. Suffer one face down damage and one face down horror. Lore plus one negates. Alright, well, you go first. Two. Alright. Cool. So you um, negate each of them? Then I have to do it. So you roll four. Dang. So, so, only do so one. you want to take the horror, right? I will only take the horror, yeah. Which you'll get rid of. Okay, and I think we're done. So, I think my turn is pretty set and isn't going to be affected or going to affect your turn. Is I that, think that's do you guys agree with that? Accurate. You're going to investigate and move. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Oh, so these guys aren't in range of me anymore? No. But that's okay. Because there's a closed door? Because there's a closed mm -hmm. door. Which means I didn't have to make a horror check. That's okay. Right. But I think I would search this and then move. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking. So should I do that first or you guys want to do your stuff first? You can go first. Go ahead and do that first. Might okay. as well. Pages of books seem stiff and smell of salts if they've been soaked in seawater at some point in the past. My number of books concerning family lineages are important into the families. That seems useful. In the pages of a book on the Marsh family, you find a torn up piece of paper. You attempt to piece it back together. Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. Okay, right, so you have five. five observation, and don't you have the thing that helps you with puzzles? Yeah. Um, you may perform one additional puzzle step while attempting a puzzle. So you got six, you can do, apparently. Yeah. So they can see this really well. We're having a hard time. But basically, we have to, like, <laughs> This is a little hard to see. You basically you can do a swap, so I can swap those two. And it's keeping track of how many moves you use. Well, you have to keep track of your moves. So I have my observation is five, so I get to do five moves. Mm -hmm. Plus I get additional one for my pocket watch. Mm -hmm. Plus I can spend clues to get additional. Can ones. you um, push the screen on so we can see it better, or can I you can see, see it, it forward or forward? But the whole you, thing you forward or the screen forward? The screen. But if you can see it fine, then ignore me. I can see it fine. Oh, okay. yeah. Now I can see it. So I'm trying to think. This one. I'm trying to figure out what attaches to where. I don't see another end of the coffee pot, so this one's on the left side. I don't see another blue box, this one's on the right side. Yeah. You, you've also got the red lines to go with. Yeah. 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 So this red line seems to connect to here. Mm -hmm. The this corner one connects of to here. the image, there's a, like the wanted poster's corner. This one here? That one goes with, I think, the one in the second from the this top here. left. This looks like the bottom left, friend. And this one goes up here. This is yeah, the yeah, I think that's right. That's correct. So that one's there. That one's there. This one's here. 
this line only connects to this one, so that one goes down there. Sounds like it'll take a lot more than six to finish. I'm trying to figure out, but this one, I don't see. Those two oh, go right on, to. those are in the right order, top to bottom. That one, that one and the one below it. Oh, these ones? Okay, yeah. good call. So this one does connect to here, but this one must not connect to here then. Uh, the one in the upper right, I think, goes into to no, the one out next to This one to here? Yeah, this one connects to here. This one, where does this red line, this red line is done. This one connects to here. To there. So, so that has to go down to there. Do you think these are the right side? Furthest right. Yeah. So these are the furthest right. This one oh. goes here. The one in the top left goes on top of the one immediately next to it. On top of this one? Yep, because the wanted posters line up. Oh, good call. So should I push this one over here and this one over here since we're pretty sure that's where they go? Sure. These two should be on the right. Do we agree on that? Yes. All right, so I'm going to do one action, two actions. So these two are definitely in the right spot to go. And then these ones should go down, right? Yes. I don't know if I should move them down right now or not. I'm wondering if you should move the coffee pot first, but let's see. Uh, move the coffee pot first. Yeah. To where? To its oh, correct it's position. It's supposed to go above yes. this one. Yes. Move it to its correct position. Nope, 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 nope. I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, this one has to go here, which has to be two moves. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, go ahead and do that. That's fine. That's four moves. Yeah. And then Does that line up right? I don't know. Does that That's need to weird. swap? That it looks weird. It does look it doesn't weird. Look right. Whoops. We thought I guess it needs to swap. That's unfortunate. Oh. Swap okay. with what? Should I move this one down? I think Oh shit, these two are on Those two are all the way on the left? No. I think they need to switch top to bottom. These two? Yeah. Oh! Okay. Yay! Oh, we got, got it. it! That was weird, because yeah, it's like one by yeah. two. But that was exactly the number of moves yep. we had, so... I don't know how much you're supposed to do that solo, how much you're supposed to do it as a group. Seems like it's more fun as a group, so whatever. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Woo! Uh, place together, the papers reveal several members of the March family have one or the other parent listed as only as from the sea. Oh. Gain the missing link unique item and one clue. Uh, then discard the search token. I like that a lot of times when you're looking for clues, it gives you a clue. So you are you can feel free to spend a clue on a roll and get it back. Not always, but frequently. Like in um, this case, we could have spent a clue to do an additional move and gotten it back. Should I compile the evidence? Yeah. While there's a maniac on the other side of the door, you're convinced the March family is guilty of some monstrous crime. You cannot quite prove it. You only need one or two more pieces of evidence. All right. So now you're moving, right? <laughs> so the maniac can move through doors, we're pretty sure, right? Pretty sure. It's they not barricaded, yeah. but we think the riot's hanging out in the... I think the riot's probably just rolling, going around, around, outside. rolling around. Yeah. All right, so okay, so what's going on over here? Joe so, Diamond is probably Joe Diamond. Joe needs Diamond's to gonna take a swing. Uh, did cultist. you want to make him focus and get some clues and discard your horror before he does that? I had been thinking about gaining two clues, discarding horror, and then picking up the fire extinguisher so I had a weapon. But oh, is it a weapon? It is. A it heavy is weapon. a heavy weapon. Um, do you want to? Why well, do you want me to see how he goes but, first? Then, and but if you I need to kill him, then you can open, pick up the extinguisher, and attack with that first. Uh, sure. Okay. Also, he's got a lot of clue tokens, so... I do. Focusing him is not that useful. That's what right, I'm thinking. Clue token gets right. multiple things. All right, do it. Uh, so I'm going to click on this monster thing, and then I'm going to click on this cool test. Attack. And you're attacking unarmed, right? Correct. But with press knuckles. You catch your opponent's wrist above your head. I think you did this before. Twist and pivot and throw. So, agility... Yeah. Joe Diamond only knows one judo chop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Judo throw, and that's about all he gets. Uh... Three successes straight up. So you're good. You need two uh, successes. I just and need to you pass your opponent to yeah. the floor, it suffers three damage, so it's enough yeah. to kill Cool. So, kill the three. Confirm. Discard. The store owner crumbles to the ground, the dagger falls from his hand with a clatter. Place the ritual dagger common item in the cultist's space. 
So you might pick up a ritual dagger instead. Instead of a fire oh, extinguisher. Both. Or both. Oh yeah, I can pick up both. And you can hand one to him. And then figure uh, out what I want to use. Well, he's got brass knuckles. He doesn't really want a weapon. No, these things are badass. Yeah, I've been working out pretty well. Well, one additional die while casting a spell. So that's actually good for you, Adam. I'll and pick up both and... Also count as a regular weapon. I will interact with the clue, or the search token in my space. The puzzle box? The puzzle box. Ooh. Is that what I want to do? How's your I, that observation? I better talk to the guy. Uh, yeah, what's your three. observation? Um, what's your observation, though? Also three. 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 Right. And I got a whole bunch of clue tokens. So That's I, true. Yeah, I don't know what we want to say on the radio. Yeah. yeah I don't either. We can ask him where he's from try to see if he's dangerous. See if he says from the sea. <laughs> or from or, the sea. Or from Innsmouth. Yeah. Both both being bad. Okay, why don't you do the puzzle box? Do I see what it is? Yeah, let's do this. Take the box with you. Perhaps if you can solve the puzzle, the box will open. Gain the puzzle box unique item. Oh, so you don't... Uh, the search then item. discard the search token. The investigator holds the puzzle box and attempt to open it by interacting with it in the app. Oh, cool. So we can pass it around if we need to. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, we so don't want to be hanging out with Adam. Because is it an action to interact with it? It is. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, okay, so discard this. I'm uh, using Jenny Barnes' action. If you have no clues, gain two clues, discard one or Cool. And then for my second action, I will trade, which means I will pick up. So you can give and or take stuff from Alex. That's well. true. That's All right, Alex. So let's see. Uh if any of this seems good. A little additional time we're resolving a will, but we have the same will. I've got some evidence. I don't think that that helps. No, Light source. Um, I don't know that it matters whether you have it or I have it. No. Um, so we don't really need to trade anything. Else. Yeah. All right, so you're happy with that? So that's the end of our investigator phase, right? Yep. Time for Mythos? Time for Mythos. Does this mean I can set stuff on fire and extinguish it? That's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> the low growl is, on, is the only warning of the wild dog's approach. The mythos event affects the investigator in the outdoor space with the lowest observation. That's, That's you. you. That's me. The mongrel's on you before you even see it, and its slavering jaws clamp around your leg. Then the arm, as you, then the arm you raise to protect yourself. One good kick sends it away, yelping. But your injuries. Uh, remain. Suffer two damage. Strength plus one negates. So my strength is three, so I roll four. I suffer two damage. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I got two successes. Cool. So you kick you the shit out of the dog. Kick dog. Good and job. Close. So we came to Innsmouth to do. The riding town folk beat the walls of buildings with their boards and bottles. The sound of shattering glass pierces the fog and reverberates through the walls of the hotel. Darkness overtakes the alleyway as the lights are smashed. Place darkness in each space in alley two and each investigator suffers one face down horror. I hope we don't need this. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think it was just that like That door a, we couldn't open. I think it was like a nice, probably like a nice bonus. Yeah. It's about the mountain of two spaces toward the pier. Okay. So it gets on the pier. Anyone in their path is swept along. Share space. Damage. Another thing I'm hoping we don't need. Uh, attack each investigator in the range. Not within range. Maniac moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator. Uh, so it goes this way, right? Well, it's the same either way. I don't know. Oh, you're right. It is the same either way. Let's see what the book says. We've had, we actually haven't. We somehow haven't encountered this situation before. Uh, monsters, key tokens, conditions. So maybe this is the key, or maybe the puzzle box has the key. Here. Yeah, I would think the puzzle box has the key, because it would be too easy to get it out of a curio case. It would be right. logical to have a key in a curio case. What would it? Uh, monster step. Uh, rescue movement, monster movement, monster involuntary movement. Effect that may move, move two spaces away from the ghost. Like you'd think that this would be a thing that would have, like that would happen. I feel like it's probably somewhere where we're going. When it affects like, spawns the so monster, obvious. monsters activate during the monster step mythos phase. During monster activation, it will move and attack investigators. Some monsters will dodge and back and such as aquatic or flying. Investigator must roll a horror check. Investigator can attack a monster using the attack action. 
Let's get a monster space attempt to move out of a monster space voluntary formation. Like, how is this not listed? Uh, or monster moves a set number of spaces it moves one space at a time moving from one space to adjacent. Investigator monsters cannot move through walls or impassable borders. Investigator monster cannot move through a door that is blocked by a barricade unless an effect allows it to move through walls. Move to a specific space is removed from the board and placed in a specific space. Voluntary movement allows spaces says may or up to. The monster attempts to move out of monster space voluntarily must make an evade check. Involuntary movement generated by an effect that does not use the may or up to, for example, move two spaces. Investigator moves out of a monster space and voluntarily does not make an evade check. Door to a door, evade, and pass forward, move action, push action, space, toward. Or oh, toward, maybe it's a toward. Toward is a thing. I did not see that coming. The toward is a keyword. Move toward another component of space. Each space it moves must reduce the distance to its destination. All right, so. So we get to choose? I think we get to choose. So here, right? Because yeah. we have stuff in the other areas? Um. Seems legit. Well, if he moves this way, though, he'll be within range of me, and I can move him backward. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. But I can already move the mob backward. Yeah. It looks like you're going to have to deal with one or the other. Might as well make it not I'm going to lead him to you so you guys can punch him with weapons. The maniac? Yeah. Actually, if we do this way, I could shoot him and then run with my with my wither spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, try that's to, like, true. Try to, like, whittle him down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we want to do that? Sure. Sure. Instead of instead of doing the searching, I could whittle. Okay. Uh, let me double check how the secret passage works, though. It right doesn't just act like a door. Uh, each space containing a secret passage is adjacent to the other space containing a secret passage. Range cannot be counted through a secret passage. Best case, monsters can move through a secret passage unless the package passage is blocked by a barricade. Yeah, so it just made, right. make, makes two places that don't look adjacent adjacent. Okay, so that's uh, no investigation in space. So I have to do a horror check against the mob. Mm -hmm. Right, stops and reenacts a recent cruelty. One of them plays the part of the crying victim while the others brutalize him. After a moment, their performance grows overzealous and the genuine cries of pain ring into the air. Suffer horror. Ew. Uh, will minus one negates. That's only two. Only having a helpful will checks. I forgot, I, I like to steal all your guys' stuff. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I do have a thing right, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that to not make any more. Uh, not take any more. So, cool. I pass. We're good. You guys having fun over there while I'm being chased by a mob? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm, I'm a little injured over here. All right. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, we're still going, yeah? I okay. Go. Should I go first and try to do this? Try to do this. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's... Uh... Maniac, attack, attack with the spell. As you utter the arcane word, you suddenly find yourself alone. Did I just do this one? Whatever. I suppose it's random. Uh, do lore uh, two successes. So my lore is four. Um, oh, I move him back one when I start, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's only while attacking on my own. Um, so I need two successes. I got two. You got two. Um, if you pass, some echoes. Damage Separate. equal to the spell's damage plus your spell result. So if I, if I up this to this one, uh, then that'll be five damage. Okay. I'll just kill him. Nice. Cool. You like that? Confirm. Boom. Oh, and then I have to flip my wither spell and get a new one. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, I don't feel comfortable staying here because the mob's been moving two spaces every turn. So I should probably move. That moves, right? Maybe indoors. Probably. Probably moves. I mean, I could try to backtrack this way, mm -hmm. hoping they're just going to keep going that way. Or going uh, off this way, and then I could maybe try to get this door. Maybe. That's fair. We, we, we I don't do. think that's necessary. That, that, that's a bad plan. So. Do you like this plan? Yeah. Sure. I mean, I'll be within two of them if I do that. But they oh. they haven't been moving toward. They haven't been recently. going inside. They haven't been going indoors, yeah. So and they haven't been moving even toward people. They're just been moving toward toward a specific tile. Yeah. yeah. So my guess is they're either going to move off this or go that way. 
Are they also going towards the boat, maybe? It's possible. Yeah. But they just seem kind of like a random mob. It does. All right, so what do you guys think? Should I go that way so I can see the site token and get into the bathroom? Or should I go this way to hopefully do awesome? Um, which one's easier for us to get to? Because I feel like we should do the other one. Yeah, we can... You guys are close to this, so this one's easier. That's about the same. You guys are one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. three. All right, so I'm going to do this, and we're going to play it risky. Sure. Sure. I don't get killed by the mob. Do you want to go and do the site token, or do you want to do the investigate and the boat stuff? I think we should another site token over here. I think we should investigate and do boat stuff first. Sure. Um, I think it probably makes sense for you... You can also start on the puzzle box. Yeah, Let's I think it makes sense box. for you to start with the puzzle box. Yeah, sure. how difficult it is. Yeah. All right, so uh, try to open it. You begin sliding the panels around in an attempt to open the box. My observation you is have five. To attempt the puzzle using observation. Oh, your observation is five. Is awesome. five. Or sorry, three. Yeah. And I have four clue tokens. Okay. Ooh, I like these games. Can you use uh, a clue token to get multiples from your special thing, or is it only for the dice? It's only for the dice. Yep, so... Okay. Okay, so move the... That one. that one up. The other two short ones over. The long so one down. you need both of them? I guess you need both of them. So that was, that was your three that, that you had, That was your right? three. You so now you can spend, spend two, two more. And then it's open. That was easy. So I've done a really cool puzzle type, but I think it's, I think it's super interesting. Click... With a quiet click, the last panel slides into place, and the wooden lid of the box pops open. The box is lined with velvet and holds an old key ring and some oddly colored right, gold coins. Gain the old keys and the fr forensic evidence unique items and one clue. Well, I got the keys. Got the evidence. Old keys. Cool. cool. So you have one more action. I do. What I do think him moving this way so that he can open this. That's a good idea. Yeah. Is the best plan. Did you get your clue? Doing it. Did it. You did? Cool. Yeah. Um, okay. So I could either move here and get the and, search and do the search or I could talk to the dude. Yeah. But it's one I or mean, the other. Yeah, kind it's of one or the other. I say leave the dude for later. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that too. So, so move, so search, and then move again. Yeah. Well, then she's got one. Yeah, she got one move left. Yeah, and then I would move back, I think. A bizarre statue on display inside the case. You know, pick the lock Sma or smash the glass. Believe it or not. I think uh, pick the lock. I don't know what it. Smash the glass would be strength, and that's like three. That's the, pretty much the lowest of my stats. So pick the lock. Pick the lock. In roll influence. Uh, Cage uses a simple lock. You pull out a pin and attempt to get it open. Same. Observation. Right. Nothing. Confirm. The lock just. So the lock no avail. All right, so I won't move. I'll just stay there I mean, so that I can try it again. see the site, but I'm not that useful. Oh, spot sure. Thing. It, I, yeah, it it'll might. waste a turn next turn, but if you're gonna, but you could move, try it again, and then potentially move anyway. So I don't know if it actually. It'll probably spawn another tile, though, right? Probably, yeah. possibly. Um, and then there might be monsters, so I don't know. Yeah, like, maybe don't do it. Yeah, thinking well, that's not the best. Thing. Yeah. So that's our turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Some of this on the bottom part, yeah. The, is that what's saying? Stopping it, I think that's what's preventing this guy from going all the way in. A patch of deadly cold air blows around Kate Winthrop, stealing her breath and cracking her joints. Kate Winthrop suffers two damage, strength negates, and then she flips two horror face up. Well, Ooh. they're already face up, so. so my strength is big three. I got one, so, so you get one damage, one regular damage, which is face up. It doesn't say face down damage, does it? No, no. it says one damage. Twisted ankle. You fall, clutching your ankle and hissing in pain. You are not certain you can stand. Resolve immediately. Become restrained. Then discard this card. Yeah. That's not too, too bad. As long as I don't die here. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta see what the mob does now. So I cannot move voluntarily at the end of your turn. Discard this card. So. No, oh, that, so that sucks. You're stuck in that spot, huh? Yeah, I can't do nothing. That's, a, that, right. that's actually really annoying for not, our... Not great. For our stuff. Ends with mob moves two spaces toward the beach. They drag him with him. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, they're definitely going for the boat. No investigation. That way. Yeah. I, think the boat is. I think the boat's off that. It way. grows still, 
dropping their heads in respectful silence and making way for a solitary figure emerging from their midst to spawn a deep one hybrid in the Innsmouth mob's space. That's a deep one. Yeah, deep hybrid. Deep one. Okay. Yeah. Deep one hybrid moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator. Ah! No! If I had moved them back instead of the, the, the uh, maniac... But you didn't know you were going to kill the maniac, so... That is absolutely true. The hybrid bellows and swings a rusted length of pipe at your head. Agility 2. Right, my agility... If you fail, you stumble backwards and suffer face down damage and become stunned. <laughs> Stun and restrain. All right, so I got. Uh, I will spend a clue token to right. yeah. not get jacked up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That all happened. Well, now you all got right. so now stuff I, to do in your space. I suppose. <laughs> and a, all right, I have to resolve a horror check against this guy. Wow. You notice the oddly slick sheen of the hybrid's flesh as its bulging eyes turn towards you. It blinks twice, once with its normal eyelids, and again with another translucent pair. Suffer two face down horror. Will plus one negates. Will. Um, I have to. So I, if I if I use my clue token, it stops. I think it's worth it to not yeah. take yeah. any more horror damage. All right, cool. We're done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, well, I can't do anything except just attack this guy. So, so we wrong. might as well. Should we do that now? I mean, I guess I can check the uh, evidence. You are convinced the Martian. No, we need one or two. We haven't picked up new evidence. So. Oh, I thought you got evidence. Over. You, got, no. you got forensic evidence. I got the forensic. Never mind. Proof of the victim. You need one or two, two, so I guess we need one since last time we needed one or two. Yeah. All right, so you need he's six, so I'm going to attack with spell. Under pressure, you struggle with your arcane knowledge, attempting to recall the appropriate words and gestures to shape the magic. Lore two. Don't have any more, any more uh, who doesn't. Oh, I can move him. You could move That's him. That's worth doing. Yeah. I still want to leave him here so I can tag him, because otherwise he's just going to come get me anyway. But. Yeah. I mean, now he's just going to move again into your space. So. No. Uh, if you fail your awkward silence, sequence of sounds and movements amounts to nothing. Fuck All the spell. Right. Uh, the spell rises in your mind like a living thing, lashing out at your random. Suffer one face down damage. And get another this is a dangerous spell. I think I forgot to actually read the back of it last time I did that. I think I just traded it in. Mm -hmm. Oops. So, I'm a big fat cheater. That's okay. You're halfway dead. We don't... We won't hold yeah. it against you. Alright. Uh, and then I'm gonna do it again, right? So we can't do anything else? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna get him. You race through the incantation and the arcane gestures, putting your own improvised spin on the magic words. Lore plus one. Muscle suffer damage equal to your test result. Then flip the spell you attacked with. So, so you got three. three. And huh. then what, do you add the spells? No. Okay. I get the plus one die, but I don't get to add the spell damage. Okay. So, I'm not going to kill him, but I did some stuff. It's cool. Um, it's also nice that I don't, like, oh, and then my restraint goes away. Let's have Alex. The nice thing about this flux stabilizer is I don't have to, like, make a paid checks, essentially. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's have Alex do his, uh... Do the door. Do the door. Move and then explore. Must be something good. The door to the hotel isn't yours, is number two. The door is probably locked. What? What? Seriously? Can... <sighs> but we got keys! Come on! You can't do anything about having keys? What if you keys? click in the box again? Alright. That's All right. lame. I thought once the keys were available, it would say, do you have the old keys? Maybe the keys are to the alley? I don't know. So I move... I mean, I guess go to the alley since I can't get yeah. there. I move again and I can't do anything. You I don't have light source though, right? I so. don't. You can't spend clue tokens, but if I get over there, then you can. All right, Stephanie, so yeah. you're going to do your... All right, I'll try to do again. this again. I guess I'll pick the lock. Or can I smash it with a fire extinguisher? Heavy weapon. I don't know what to say, but... Let's might, try it. might say if you have a heavy weapon. Smash your elbow through the glass. I suffer damage. Sharp slices over your arm. You suffer one face down damage. Asking I yourself, I... why? Why didn't I use a fire extinguisher? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Take the statue from the case. A tag hangs from the back of the reed. That just seems For stupid. sale by the March family. Please contact for price. Gain the grotesque statue unique item. 
uh, and one clue, then discard this search token. That just seems stupid. It did. You didn't just, like, pick up the statue next to you and... Grotesque statue? Stone. Stone. There's a bunch of grotesque stones. Okay. Uh, is it evidence? This one. It is evidence. Yeah, it's evidence. All right, so then what are you doing for your... You guys are going to move for your second action? Um, I'll move to here, I think. I don't know that I want to... Go outside. Yeah. I think we're going to want to tell the boat officer something next turn. So. Yeah, I yeah. think so. All right, should I die miserably? Yeah. Let's do it. Honorable death. You feel truly safe only when you have something to hold on against the panic. This is the event affects the investigator with the most common items. Uh, one. Two, three. Three. Two. Two. Okay, me. A sudden start causes you to drop the object in your hands. Before you can check yourself, your heel crunches against it hard. Make agility two. Uh oh. Otherwise, I have to start a random one. All right. Uh, if you pass, you're still salvageable. A little battered. If you fail, the object is next to you. Start a random common item. I have been rolling almost all blanks this entire game. Yeah, you can roll something. So I just got a random um, item. I have to do it at random rate. Yeah. A few members of the mob begin singing a horrid, croaking melody in response. The sea begins to sing along. The inhuman notes echo through the alleys and streets, insinuating themselves into the minds of all who hear it. Each investigator suffers two face down horror. Oh, Ooh, just straight right. up, huh? Discard. Discarding the ritual dagger, apparently. Well, you had more weapons than you needed anyway. <laughs> two face down horror? Yeah. Oh. It's rough, right? As the sound of the song carried in the fog, a horrible fish-like creature spawns out of the wake and onto the beach. Spawn a deep one, as indicated. I think this is the... Oh, I didn't see. It's I, getting real. I didn't see which space it was supposed to go into, so we're just going to put it there. Uh, Remove mom, the Moves out of sight. Remove the mob from the board. Did they just, like, walk into the sea? They scatter, I guess. Um, hybrid D1 moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator, attacks the investigator in space with... Oh, they're over here. Hybrid crunches low before leaping forward in an attempt. I wonder if they're here. I, I missed it. I wonder if put there. Uh, before leaping forward in an attempt to tap you. Strength two. Pass managed to keep my footing. Strike your enemy. So strength is the big three. Oh. Mm. Uh, if you fail, the hybrid slams into you and throws you into the ground. Suffer two damage. Jesus. Alright, taking four of my six damage. No effect, discard this card. Just a scratch. Nice. And disfigured. Keep face up. Roll one fewer die when resolving an influence test. <laughs> I like it. Debo moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator, then attacks. I think that's either you or. So that means one, two, three, and one, two, three. Yeah. You have to move so. it this way to consolidate them so we don't have to fight sure. as much. Sure. Okay. That was a good idea? I don't know. I don't know. You're more likely to die that way, well, but... Well, you, I have an escape route. If you go that way, out. you don't have an... If it goes that way, you don't have an escape route. That is accurate. Well, I could go this way, I guess, but it's not great. Hopefully I put it in the right space. I was like, it was, it was sort of a... It said come from the ocean, so it's even one of these two spaces. It's kind of a crapshoot which one I could have been. So... I don't know. There's no way to go back and look at it. These two no, are... Without stopping the video and rewinding. Yeah, well, I mean, in a normal scenario, for people <laughs> yeah. playing at home, there's not a situation like that. So okay. the, the deep one has obviously the higher horror rating. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Is the mob still on the list, even though they told us to remove it? Uh, apparently. The verb. Deep one's movements and mannerisms are subtly, terribly human. So for two horror, will plus one negates. Yeah, you might need to tell it that the, the mob is killed. Dang. So I get one horror. Solve immediately. No additional effects for this card face down. Minor shock. You, Take was, you installed all the updates for this, right? Because there was definitely a... Update okay, breaking bug? Yeah. Yeah, no, thanks. So. Okay. I mean, I, I updated the latest, so... Alright, so no one else has to suffer horror checks, right? Nope. Nope. Woo! Uh, that was getting real, you guys. Should I talk to the dude? Oh, we should have, we should check we should have checked Alex's thing to see what it said when he went oh, in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It does have an explore option. Yeah. Now you can explore it. All right. Um, should I tell you the dude? 
Probably. We need to. Yeah. Why don't you do that one. first? Okay. Either Adam or you should go before I do. Um. So, can you pick us up, or where are you from? Let's start with where are you from? Alright. I'm not a local, if that's what you're asking. I normally operate out of Gloucestershire. This news fills you with confidence. Become focused. (laughs) Can you pick us up? (laughs) Maybe your best chance to escape from Innsmouth. Can you pick us up? Not in action. Craven, is that you? The captain must have been expecting someone else. You can tell him your situation. I'm not sure if I want to take out unknown passengers in the middle of the night. Right. I don't know if I can trust you. Alright, so this doesn't make sense that me being disfigured would affect this. Right? Maybe it's like my mouth yeah, is messed up. Yeah, maybe your mouth is messed up and you sound weird. You are focused. I am focused. Well, I... May as well just use a clue. You could just use a clue. Yeah, I think do it. We'll just do it. Four. Four. Please definitely pick us up. I'm supposed to pick up Agent Craven. I will come pick you up, but you need to find Craven and bring him with you. After a short pause, he continues speaking. I cannot see through this fog. Light a lantern on the dock where you want me to pick you up. Ring the fog bell when you are ready to, for me to come. Ooh, okay. So we need to find the fog bell. One is above the fog bell. And one is probably a lantern we need to light. So we can ask what he needs to get. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a kerosene lantern. And we also, and I have a... Um, a lamp. Oil lamp. Oil lamp. So, I think we're okay. We just need to actually interact with it. So, but we need to find that guy. Yeah. I'm wondering if he's in there. In there or in there. Or in there. In there. All right, so Stephanie needs yeah. to move again. Um, so I should just move this Stephanie? way. I'm or do thinking. you want to move towards the beach? You move toward the beach. Okay. Beach is cool. Yep. Because they to be one, two, three away, and they seem to be moving two in general. So. Do you want to do your actions? Mine? I think we should do yours so we figure out what's going on there first. Sure. So my action is going to push him away and then run somewhere. Sure. And then maybe explore. Well, if you push him here, he could go after me. Yeah. I won't push him. I only push him one. But his move when one, he two. moves, he'll move one, two, two towards the nearest. But, I mean, this person. thing's already moving. So. Also, I mean, do you want to? You don't. You not want to move there then. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I should stay here, just to be safer. Well, we have to get him to go in one direction, like one way or another. We have to get right, him to fine. run. Whatever. So. Yeah. Like I'm, you, I'm at four health. You but... might then have to run. I'm at three health. Okay. Alright. So, um, we, we have to get him, I think getting him to run one direction or the other. So actually getting him to run that direction is probably a good idea. Okay. So we can come in this way. Alright, should I do mine or do you want to do yours first? Mm, why don't I go ahead and do mine? Because that may influence what direction you want to go. Yeah. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to push him back, attack him with a spell, and then move. Sure. But if I get in the same space as you... You're, you're pushing take him, thing. right? No? You, I thought... Do you have any face down I, I can push okay. either of them. I want to push him so I can leave without having to make I did not realize that. Check. Okay. No, I'm not going to push him into attacking you. No, that's not. That's what I thought you were doing. Okay. Oh. So you're pushing him there and then you're running away? Is that the deal? I'm probably going to push him there, attack him, and then run away. So maybe I can kill him. But you don't have that many actions. His push is a free My push is, is oh, at, the, right. at the start of your turn, move a monster that's with him. That's right. Okay. Range up to one space. I like it. Why don't you just go first? I'm going to do that first. So I push him here. Throwing you to the walls, Alex. Then I make an attack. To the dogs? Whatever it is this one. Attack with a spell. Oh, and we should kill the mob. (laughs) Since it didn't do that already. You trace a mystic spell. Or maybe the mob will come back. Mind expanded Uh, into it. Roll lore. Two successes. Two. Pass the first burst from you. Damage equals the spell's damage if you fail. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to be able to kill him anyway, but he'll be down to one at least. So that if I succeed, so that's something. And the hex fails. Um, so I fail. So the hex fails. All right. And then you flip it, and then you hopefully can escape. You shout as the spell leaves your body, barely managing to direct its wild power at another foe. Another monster within range suffers two damage. If another mm. monster within range, another investigator within range suffers one damage. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. So, so then the the deep one, deep one gets suffers two damage. For two. All right. So should I should I kill this one? Oh, seventy two. Uh, seventy two. No, no, no. We're just gonna leave it. It'll do what it does. Um, That's pretty hilarious. I don't know if it's alive or not. I don't think we even looked at that. Okay. All right. So that was my first action, and then I'm gonna. And now you're going here. But if yeah. you go there... So whenever I suffer... Yeah. Whenever I end my turn within range of another investigator, I flip a horror face up. So... Do you have any face-down horrors? Right. I have three. Yeah, it's not great. 
Can I have... As an action, with I, I can uh, cause you to discard one of those. Oh, that would be that would be fabulous. So maybe I, I run to you. to you, and then you do that as one of your actions. You just have to be within range. But then I try to steal your stuff if I'm in. Yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah, I don't have to be in range. I don't have yeah. to be in. Uh, I don't have to be in the same space. Uh-huh. You steal the stuff if you're in the same space. Is that the deal? If you move, yeah. I have to flip a horror face up anyway, though, so I think it's just going to have to happen. So uh, this one, no additional effect. So this card face down. Nice. Nice. Let's keep that Good separate. Keep so that, Good one. To, yeah. Good one um, to have. Okay, uh, so and now you, it does the kleptomania happen if you're. In so I'm in the space? same space. With the oh right. So for Alex, my first action, gonna I'm going to open the door. Yeah. I bet the agent is in there. I yeah. Bet he is too. I bet he is. Weather warped. Door leads to a dark and apparently but we disused don't have any building. More space. Try the door handle, but find it locked. But you think you hear something move on the other side. Put your ear to the door and hear someone breathing heavily inside. Who's in there? Who's in there? Leave Who's in there? After a short silence, you hear a voice say, Go away! I do not want any trouble. Are you Agent Craven? Ooh. After another moment of silence, the door opens a crack and a man with sunken, fearful eyes stares out at you. You're not from Innsmouth. The man's eyes light up with sunken hope. Listen closely. Discard the Explore token and place a person token as indicated. This is Agent Craven. Agent Craven. He sounds like the bravest agent. I know, right? My name is Craven. I'm an agent with the FBI. My partner and I were sent to Innsmouth, but he was taken by the locals. He pauses, a look of despair in his eyes. I called for a... I called for an extraction, but with the locals so riled up, I do not know how to contact the boat. My gun is in my hotel room, but my partner had the key. Oh, okay. So that's... What's going on over there? You tell him that you have already contacted the boat, and he seems surprised. And we should not waste any time. He slinks out of the storage room and slips through the door to no, the outside of the alley. You don't want to go the there. Has indicated. Oh. Stupid Agent Craven. You know, the agent did not close the door behind the storage room when it was anything you could use inside. Place a search token as indicated. <laughs> so should my other action be to search or to heal you of a... a I mean, I'm mostly fine now. I mean, I have three health left. Or three, 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 four will left or whatever. Right. I say search. Have, no, you have five, right? I have five taken. I have three left. You have five taken? One, two, the... three, four. Oh, I didn't realize that those were also it. Okay. Yeah, yeah search. Search. I search. So if they only move two, we should be okay for now. The door to storage room has been left ajar. Perhaps you can find something interesting inside. You open the door and begin to dig through the various objects that have been abandoned in the dusty storage room. Yes, Most of the refuse is usable, but something catches your interest. Gain the sledgehammer common item, then discard the search token. Nice. All right, so is that the end of our turn? Did you have an action? Um. Yeah, I talked and Oh, you talked ran. and moved. Have you Take damage to do better with it. All right, we're done. Mythos. Yeah. The air begins to shimmer with heat. The shimmer becomes a glow, enveloping Joe Diamond. Oh, Joe Diamond suffers three face down damage. Observation negates. Then he flips three damage face up. It just occurred to me, like he's in darkness. I can't use two tokens. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if that in- interfered with. No. I am. I like am that. within range with a light sword. That's though. true. Let me double check that if it matters. Why don't you roll, and then we'll go from there. No, you have to be adjacent to a light source. So, yes, you cannot do your thing. Okay. Even though there's a trash can fire there, so you think that would help. All right. So, so he suffers two damage. two damage face up. Yep. He suffers... No, he suffered two face down damage, and then you and then flip, flip three flip damage face three up. Three face up, but he only... He doesn't have any damage yet. All right, so... Deep one, I removes two space from the nearest investigator, then attack. So flip it up, and attacks. we see what happens. Oh. So I'm misunderstanding what face down and flip so, face up means, and suffering. So you good. suffer two damage face down. So take two, take those two damage and put them face down. And now you I, have to thri- flip three of your damage face up. That's, yeah. that's what I thought, but then you said, I don't have any damage to fit, flip face up, so that I meant confused me. you weren't taking, you couldn't have taken a third, is what I okay. meant. So that was so. not in, implicit in what you had said. Uh, broken leg. You fall as pain lent. Uh, late lances up your leg. You try to stand, you fall over again. Keep face up. If you move more than a single space as part of a move action, flip one damage face up. Good guy. So I'm limited to one move. Alright, so we should definitely have the people go towards Stephanie then, right? Uh, 
the Great. sight. Then I become lightheaded. Well, you can run away. They're not, they're <laughs> not Apparently, the break was so bad that I become lightheaded. The light, nice. sight of your own blood makes you stum your stomach turn over. Your breath becomes ragged for a moment to resolve immediately. Flip one horror face up, then uh -oh. flip this card face down. Claustrophobia. It's too close. <laughs> <laughs> too tight. You cannot breathe. You, just you must get to open air. Keep face up. Whenever you end your turn within a range of two or fewer spaces, within what? Within a range of two... Of what? Let me see. There's no object Suffer with... Suffer one face down horror. Yeah, whenever you yeah. end your turn within a range of two or fewer fewer spaces suffer one face down horror. Range of what? It doesn't say. So you are right now you are within range of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. If you were uh, here, you're only within range of two spaces. Gotcha, so you'd be gotcha. claustrophobic. So claustrophobic. Yes. So as long as you stay outside, you're fine. Yes. Which you'll be staying outside. Or in a big hallway, but can't really probably work. not. <laughs> like if it was a if it was like a three space hallway, you would be okay. Yeah. We don't have any of those. I'm also happen. like, what if we move them towards Alex because he's got all the heavy weapons? But he can't move. <laughs> I can't no, move, but I can deal damage. I could probably kill them. Also, if he moves here, I can shoot him on my turn from here. All right. Anyway, let's. So, so deep he's, one moves two. Deep one is moving two. So you want to move him? He's within three of all of us, so we can yeah. move him here or here. This doesn't. Or is this a different? I think we might have met him as sub. I think this is actually a different space. You think? I think you're right. Because there's a door there. Yeah, because yeah, huh. this says it's one thing, this says it's another. Huh. So I think we have to move him here. Well, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. We could move him. Oh, that's here. true. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm, I'm done with that plan. This next hand, look, Shaq also is a different place, maybe? There's a door. Two spaces towards. Yes, this yeah. is, but he doesn't have to go in there. He can. Yeah. But this is actually all one big space, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so he's in this big space. Okay. It's very confusing. But it is. Move uh, four spaces for the nearest space. Let's do the same, so do Alex. The same right. there. See, I don't mind them coming to me so that I can run away. I am okay with that. <laughs> I'm I okay with mind, it. I don't too. mind fighting him either. Didn't sound like you were okay with it. I was I'm <laughs> trying to joke. I'm okay uh, fighting. I don't Each mind investigator fighting. must resolve, I resolve a, a horror check. check. So yeah. we have to both resolve a horror check now, Alex and I. Against. Uh, they're both. Which one's horror again? Uh, horror is the blue, so I think the deep one wins that game. Uh, that would make sense too, yeah. Uh, That's what we did the last time you Two had already, yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, so, deep one against Alex. I wonder if he's the guy, his partner. But oh, that would make sense, yeah. But we don't actually need the gun, right? We can just leave it. That's true. Hopefully. Deep one against mumble something in an alien tongue. The words begin as a trickle, but eventually build to a torrent of incomprehensible shouts that bury themselves in your mind. Suffer two horror, lore negates. Do I get two horror? Yeah, you do. And do I do these face up or face down now? It's always face up unless it says face down. Okay. Minor shock. Ah, your heart races and your throat. Your breath catches okay. in your throat. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip it face down. Awesome. Minor shock. Ah, oh, your heart races, your breath catches. So I got shocked twice. All right. So keep in mind the ones that you want to flip up. Yeah. That are that are fine to flip up. All right, so we're done. Yes. All right. So what's our goal here? Theoretically, I think you're right. If we kill that guy, we might get the key. Which I don't know that we need. It'd be good just to kill him to stop him. I need technics. to know what he what needs. his deal is. Yeah. Um, it would be good to kill him, regardless. So maybe just kill him. Um, so you want me to go first? Yeah. Yeah. All right, should I push one back? Should I push the deep one back this way? I was tempted to run out that way, but I could It'd be hilarious if you put him back in the, that way, uh, I guess. the snack stand. Just push him into the snack stand. <laughs> that works as good as anything, right? It does. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. It's, it's actually, it's, it's got a, it's got a dashed line, which means... Which, which means it's open. Which I think you can't actually get into it. Oh, it's got a door from it's the back It's got a door, here. yeah. That's weird. Okay, we'll put him in the snack stand. Like, take him <laughs> an extra move to... I mean, either way, if you don't move, he's on top of you, right? Yes. I'm definitely moving. Okay. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to wither the uh, big guy first. Okay. Um, so we go monsters. It would be nice if Alex could heal me at some point, though. Yeah. I think it would work out well. Attack with a spell. You begin the incantations as if by instinct, lips forming the words their own accord. Even as you give voice to the elders' sounds, you struggle to understand their meaning. Lord 2. Uh, 
Um, only one. Damn. So I fail. Uh, if you fail, you realize too late the words serve their own dark purpose, and you serve merely as a vessel to give them life. Flip the spell you attacked with. Um, you see the spell ripple and spread from where it hit your target. You suffer one face down damage, and the monster suffers one additional damage. Okay. Um, discard for a minute. It's like, hey. <laughs> All right, so now I need to run, yes, right? Because my foot got very furry all of a sudden. So I could run into here and you couldn't oh, get yeah. to me. Jeez. So I, I'm thinking that's a good idea. And then I'm not in range of Alex, so I don't... Well, I mean, I guess that's, that's irrelevant. Should I go, is, I, is, I go with oh, Alex, I'll, I'll steal his stuff. So True, I think that's the only but place. if you're in range of me, I, you steal he my stuff. He can't heal you now? Well, but, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, is it worth going there to, and stealing one of his things? How much do you care about your things, Alex? Not particularly. All right, Hold so on. I'll go and hang out with you. Do you do that now? What? You steal a random thing now? Whenever you end your turn in a space with another investigator, take one item. Oh, and I flipped this horror face up. Oh, it's nothing. Cool. Is it a common item or regular? Any item? One item at random. Spells count as items for some reason. I don't even look at what the backs are. Sure. Huh. hammer. Alright, cool. Good. Now you can surprise Knuckles again. Um, so, so what's our? We have to. I think we have to kill these things. I think we have to kill them. Um, we have to figure out what his deal is. Someone's gonna have to get to him. Yeah. I could get to him. One, two, three, four. I couldn't talk to him, but then this guy yeah, will be on top of me. Yeah. I don't know. Is that bad? I mean, he's not super. T I mean, it'd be nice not to take any hits, and you've already yeah, taken quite a few. I have taken half of my health so far. I only have two sanity left, so. You don't have, neither of you have ranged weapons, right? Nope. Nope. I get to fire to things. <laughs> Honestly, I think we need to, like, lead them so that we can attack them, and then we just need to, like, mob them. Mm -hmm. I think it's what's going to happen. So, if Stephanie... So I should actually head back this way, then? Well, we are one, two, three slash four away. You are one, two, three, four slash five away. So if you wanted to move into this little room... I would leave them, but I'm not much of a mob by myself. Yeah, I think you coming around this way is probably better than yeah. as good as anything. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. I have no So much for that one. Oh, I, I, I my turn. I forgot. You wanna... I forgot to uh, check this Check thing. your notes. Yeah, I forgot to do that on my turn. You have enough evidence to convict the Marsh family. Now you just need to escape the town before the mob stops you. Mob's gone. Do you want to check the lantern <laughs> before you... Uh... And your turn. Check the lantern. The explore token. Which one? The room that she's in. Oh, this. See oh. if the door can be opened at this point. Won't we find Agent Craven? Nope. Nope. I'm still convinced this guy is key. Alright, so Alex is going to heal me of a, a thing? Yep. Uh, so heal me of my kleptomania, I guess. It says... May heal or discard any one face down for her. Oh, face yeah. Down. Face down. Okay, cool. Oh, oh well. Still good. I too can. I mean, I can't. Moving is not a logical thing for me to do at this point. If I can move forward, they're gonna. The, the deep one's gonna attack you. And if I move backward, you I will just have away to move. Yeah. yeah. Did your so, leg last for the rest of the game? The leg is there. Nice. Uh, but I, there's nothing preventing me from taking that action again and removing one of my own face down horrors. I mean, that's as good as anything yeah. at this point, right? Or have, allowing you to remove one of, another one of your face down. Well, I have four horror left, and you have two left. I have yeah, you should get, yourself. Get, get, get rid of this. I got rid of minor shock. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Did you have three, so, mi three minor shocks? Three minor shocks? I had three minor shocks, apparently. Oh, I shuffled those. All right. <laughs> so are we done with this turn, then? Yep. Mythos phase... Cobblestones underfoot are rounded and uneven from time's passage, or perhaps malicious That's assemblage. You guys. This affects any investigator in alley That's or street Alex. with the lowest observation. We're, mine's five. We're both five. Mine's oh, you're both. Three. You know, oh, he's three, oh. yeah. yeah. What are you five in? You're five in agility. Five in agility. Oh. You stumble over Aaron Stone. Agility, two successes. Even with my broken leg, uh, two successes. Right. If you pass. You suffer one face you down. You fall to your knees without major harm. Suffer one face down damage. If you fail, 
suffer two face up damage and become stunned, so much better. I wonder if it like does like more serious damage as the game goes on. Seems like it. Even however moves two spaces for the nearest investigator. No investigator in space. Deepo moves two spaces for the nearest investigator. He's got six health left. No investigator in the space. Must resolve a horror check. So we have to do it against Deep One. Deep One. Deep One scratches at itself idly, then tosses aside what seems to be its sloughed off skin. As it lands at your feet, you realize the skin is human. The exact same as the shade is yours. Suffer two horror. Will minus one negates. Jeez, I'm gonna... That doesn't look very human. I rolled two of that. I rolled two as well. One success. Success. So we each suffer our stick pick. I have frayed nerves. Keep face up. Roll one fewer die when we're solving will tests. That's not great. I have shrieking fit. You scream and scream and scream, and then you cry and cry and then giggle and then pick up. <laughs> Resolve immediately, become restrained, then discard. Then you discard it at least. That's, that's yeah. Something. Or discarding is good. What does restrained mean? Cannot I can't move, move voluntarily. Okay. So I'm Wait, gonna have that's to... for one turn, right? Yeah. Alright, so discard your shrieking fit. So that gets discarded. Alright, we're done with the middle phase then? Yes. Alright. So, so hopefully you can kill this guy. So I have a sledgehammer and my wither. I think using my wither is gonna continue to be good even though I'm a little damaged. So should I wither him first? Sure. I well you need to move. One of them, right at the beginning of your turn. I'm oh, thinking yeah. you should move the other guy. Move him back. So I still attack him. Yeah. But then he won't be able to get to us. Right. Yeah, I like it. Very smart. This uh, guy attack with spell. You begin the incantation as if by instinct. Your lips forming the words. All the sounds. Uh, so I, have to, I don't understand the meaning. This is one where if I do bad, it messes up. So I uh, make a lore test. Four. I need two successes. I have no two tokens. Ah! Ugh, this is rough. No one has anything that can, like, help me do lore or I can focus. Anything. You could have you but could have focused me. It's late now. It is, yes. but it's, it's annoying because I keep failing and I have, like, you guys have all these clue tokens, but you haven't been attacking anything, so. Mm -hmm. Just because, uh... Can't get to him. Suffer a face down. Or... No? What? No. I can't get to him and attack him because no. I can't do no, a range but, attack. But you could have. I could have focused, focused you, that but it's too have. late now. I understand that. I'm just saying we should have thought of it and we should do it next time. Okay. All right. I guess I do it again, right? I yeah. guess so. I'll just keep that out. Um, again. Or two noses. Press your palms together tightly and whisper them. Whisper over them the arcane words. No. God damn. Not even close. Uh, if you fail, you pull your hands dramatically apart to no change. What's the spell? Um, you shout as the spell leaves your body, barely managing to direct its power. Another monster within range suffers two damage. Alright. So, the other guy. I'm going to kill him accidentally by failing. <laughs> uh, before I do anything else. So then I get another wither. So that was your. So that was my holy little action. So, so you can't move. Well, I can't move, and you have no but range I, can, attack? I can heal. I have no range to attack. Okay. Time to heal. So again. my suggestion la that was gonna be could have been move them into our space so I can hit them. Oh, you should have said that. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no change to that. I, I mean, I guess it was. No, I guess we thought I was going to kill him. We thought you were going to kill him. We thought you were going to do it. That's okay. Yeah, you should have said something at the time. So we're going to yeah. discuss. Like, it's hard. It's hard to know in retrospect what we yeah. would have said. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyhow, what I could do instead is heal again. One from you, one from me. Yeah, I mean, I have six. So it's not um, the end of the world. You have six thing. I, I, I have two. I have two left. Basically. You have two left. I have three left. Okay, so, so one each is a good idea. One each. So I mean, there's nothing else we can do right now. My right? face down horrors are both minor shock. I know that. I mean, the other option is you could trade with me and take my Wither spell mm. and then cast it. Mm. Oh, that's not terrible. You have a bunch of clues. I do have a bunch of clues. Yeah, and I get that. to turn my things. Yeah, sure. I mean, you only roll three dice, but still. What's your healing? Is that your diamonds thing? 
No, the healing is the Bible. You could give the Bible to Adam. I yeah. could. I mean, yeah, it's like it's, a, it's, it's all the same action, so. Yeah. Alright. Doing it. Wither. And I turned that into a success. Oh, nice. we, didn't, oh we, we didn't actually oh, do we didn't it. Need it. Oh, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll use we'll that. We'll, we'll use, use that if that's what it requires. Yeah, with the spell. Um, two successes. Lore. Yep. Oh, yes. Pass and primal instincts guide your speech. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result, which is nice. more than enough. Yay. Wait, you didn't need to use the clue, did you? You did. You needed to use Oh, you did. You okay. Alright, so it did. Yay! Did not have but a key. no key. What? So that guy has the key? And I don't, I don't think know if one of them has the key. Then, but Maybe that's a bug. We never get into that room. Yep. Um, Alright, so I mean, you can move up and focus somebody. Do the same thing and trade, and no, you can't do that. Oh, I should have tried to steal your stuff at the end of my turn. Yeah. Didn't you? I did not. Oh. So you had the Bible at that point and I not did. the Wither. Yeah. Is Wither a common thing? No, this is just. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Take one item at One item. Time. Okay. Uh, Cult Sigil. All right. And then we do the trade. And yeah. then we do the trade. It wouldn't, I don't think there's any way we couldn't have gotten back where we wanted. Should I just give you all my evidence so I'm less likely to take stuff that's important? Sure. Yeah. That's a reasonable thing. And you, you attack unarmed, right? I, Theor theoretically, in the future, you should take that. Yeah. All right. So that's... Are we in So I haven't gone yet, I don't yeah. think. So I can move to... And then we'll have to do the thing? Well, uh, no, no, it's only at the end of my turn. Only at the end of your turn. Okay. But I can move to and focus you or oh, that's Alex funny. or... Something. Yeah, Alex has the wither now, and he has the clue token, so probably Alex. Okay. Well, but Alex can, can get two per clue. So Myself? Oh, you're already focused. <laughs> I am already focused. Yeah, you should focus me. All right. We're moving out together, guys. Focus you. Somebody needs to get to that dude. Yes. Well, <laughs> I was thinking about At it. Some point. But then, if only I'd gone the other way. Well, there are <laughs> monsters coming that <laughs> way, so it's cool. <laughs> I feel like I just keep picking the wrong direction. No, nah, that's cool. No, it was, it, was, it was a good choice. Because if you had gone through it that way at any point, they would have attacked you. Yeah. yeah. So you definitely. There's a strange puddle of seawater on the ground, rippling without wind. Mythos and benefits. Investigator with the highest sanity. Wait, I'm listening. We're still going to have to go one, two, three. Six. So we're still going to have to spend two more turns to interact with him. Looks like Unless it, yeah. instead of me focusing you, I ran into that room. That's fine. Yeah, okay. no, the focus is not All right. huge. All right, so highest sanity. I have the highest sanity on my card, so I think that's me. Um, I don't think it's remaining sanity. Okay, that would make sense then. Yeah. Your reflection in the water shifts. You see your skull and eyes horror, grow horror. misshapen. Suffer four horror, will plus one negates, and flip all of your horror face up. Jesus. All right, Dad, so I have... They're trying to make us go insane. Now. I have... Well, I think that's what it is. I think it gets more and more difficult the longer it goes on. The longer we take, the worse it goes. Okay. So my will is three, but I roll one fewer... So it's four. If I roll one fewer die, one tempting horror will check. So I can't even. I can't even right now. So I suffer three horror and go insane. Yeah. So Adam might kill us right now. Yeah, this is a cool. This is a cool thing. So I guess I do this. No additional effect. Flip face down. No additional effect. Face down. Flip one damage face up. Then flip this card face down. If you move broken leg. If you move more than one space in a single action. Um, no, single, as single, <laughs> when a single space is part of a move action, flip one damage face Did up. Did you flip all your other work face up? Because it said. Well, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens when I take, like. Oh. Do, when, okay. When what what order does it happen in? I think you take it face up, and then it's a flip face down. When an investigator has suffered horror equal to his sanity, that investigator becomes insane. When an investigator becomes insane. He gains the insane condition and discards all his face down horror cards. Mm. He reads the back of his insane condition, but cannot reveal the back of the card to our investigators. An investigator's insane condition might alter how that investigator wins and loses the game. In such a case, he may want to perform one or more actions that would not otherwise want to perform. See rarely used actions on the page. Each insane condition has a required number of investigators, which must be oh indicated in the bottom right corner. Oh, we should have made sure there like that. Oops. Uh, if the investigator has suffered horror equal to his sanity, that investigator is the head. So, I think. This is the, the order I think things happen in. Um, so where's the in, where, where are the insanity cards? Those? Is Isn't there, that on the back? There's there? conditions. Okay. So. so this is the way I would read this. 
since it didn't really specify there, is so I suffer my eighth sanity, right? Mm -hmm. Then the insanity happens. And then I continue. Are they the, face up or face down? Right now they're face down. Let me, let me, okay. So I basically do everything in order as soon as it triggers. Okay. So now I would go insane. Right. So now you're going to do the insanity part. Yeah, which look at the bag of card number of the investigators. When you have suffered horror equal to your sanity, I'm a limit. But then I discard, discard my face, face down, down, but then I still have to suffer one, one more. Okay. Face up. There's all immediately no vision effect like face down. And now I've suffered the three I was supposed to suffer. The four, yeah. Yeah, four. Now I feel all my heart face up. Okay. <laughs> I got it. That was complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Does your insanity do anything else? Does it give you any... Not that you know of. He, uh, it changes his win condition. Uh -huh. Which might involve stabbing. I might involve stabbing guys doing stuff. I'm setting everything on fire. Do I also have... No. That was no, just that for was you. the highest sanity. Part of jambling locals. Uh oh. Place the mob. mob. Mob's back. There's only one now. There's a riot. There's, what's an intimate mob? I think it's the riot. I think it's the riot. Oh, okay. It, it said it was the oh, same like two, two spaces. It's not down the street. Oh! <laughs> Alex breaking the world here. So, he, Destroyer of World. Definitely goes here. Yeah. Each investigator must rule all the horror check against the monster within range, so Alex and I have to do that. Um, no, that's not what I just want to look at. So. One's eyes flare, his musculature seems to ripple beneath his wet, scaly flesh, he begins to slam and claw at the ground in a fury. Suffer two horror, well negates. Nope. He negated a negated one of them. Nice! So give me one. Right, Minor okay. shock. No additional. Amazing. All right, I really want to talk to this guy. All right, I think Stephanie should go first anyway. So we, then we figure out what the plan is. Agent Craven is fervently looking over what appears to be a record of immigration. This must be storage for the city's historical records. I cannot return to the Bureau empty-handed. There must be something in these records to help my case. What about all this evidence we've collected? <laughs> help me look for something about the Marsh family. Uh... That's An investigator mean. with a missing link unique item can show the agent that. the family you history. You have it? All right. That sucks. Because you can't move. <laughs> I can move one space at a time. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, so that that was an action to search? talk to him, right? Was it not? It was, I believe. Oh, oh no, no. I think, I think it's just an action to, to do that. Yeah, you're, you're right. Oh. So, yeah, I can go over here and... And search. And search. Yeah, uh, we could have messed that up, but because I don't yeah, have, I don't anyone. have anything. Showing I can't show yeah, it's an icon. So, all right. So I don't think it's too cute. This one. An old robot sits on the beach. It will not be enough to escape in, but it might get you to the fishing boat. Search fishing boat it. Way. Search. Brush sand and dirt from the boat to check its condition. All right. Just observation. Um, focus. focus so discard I'll just discard it. Both. Yeah. You remove an old fishing net from the bottom of the boat and discover a gaping hole in the boat's hull. You would be surprised Shiny. if it floats at all, but you do find something else of use. Dynamite! And a dynamite common item. Ooh, mm -hmm. that could be good. Yeah. I want a dynamite want something now! <laughs> Legit. Alright, so that was Stephanie's turn. Do you want to I walk up and punch it? I should probably go first. Him? Yeah. I'm going to walk up and punch it. Or you could wither it twice. I could. I think, I think I'd do better punching with punching. punching. That's fair. So we we, we got the ticking time bomb coming here. Yeah. All right, attack unarmed. You are certain that if you can drive the pain of your injuries from your mind, you will last long enough to strike back. Test will two. Oh god. I will spend a clue, I guess. Yep. If you pass, an opening comes mercifully soon, and you throw your weight behind a vicious elbow. The monster suffers two damage. Right. That was attacking with a weapon? Oh no, you're attacking an arm. arm. Right. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, attacking plus it. plus you yeah, got the sorry. brass knuckles. I had the two things. I get to roll yeah. two more. So maybe you don't have to spend the clue the token. Clue token. Well, I'll Never spend mind. the clue token and I get five successes. <laughs> no, it only gives or two. It right? only gives me two. We only needed two. He only needed, only needed yeah, two. one. I think because right. you rolled an ace. So then you're gonna choose not to move again. Uh, yes, I'm not going to move again because if I move again, 
I take another damage. Yeah. And you have to do a fade check anyway. All right. Um, uh, I see you haven't gone yet. What should I do? I could push. I could push it back. But then you can't attack it. He's only got two health left. I mean, should I attack? I have a sledgehammer. You have a sledgehammer. Should I push him back or not? I can push him into my square, and then I don't have to move. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I pull him essentially. All right, so I'm gonna do it. Attack with a heavy weapon. I only roll three strength dice, but it is what it is. Um, you're gonna intercept you. Uh, you attempt to drive your weapon through the block. So you try to block my attack. Boom! Nice. To pass, your weapon crushed through your foe's raised arm. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. That is enough to kill him. Confirm. And then I get attacked. Because another one crawls out. I'm sure. I'm sure. Boom. I'll get that guy. And then I should move two, right? And then I end your turn within range of another investigator. Flip one horror face up. I'm paranoid. Minor shock. Minor shock. Alright, I'm good. I know you have not yet stabbed Alex. I have not yet stabbed. I have not yet begun to stab Alex. <laughs> That's the end of our turn, I think. Yeah, it's been close. You hear a splash yeah. out of the dark. A, a gull dripping black fluid furiously at your face. Furiously, fluid flies furiously at your face. This is event will affect the investigator on, in the beach, dock, or pier with the highest strength. That's one of you. Three. Three. All right. So I want me to do it. Yeah, because you can four take more. Left. You can more. And four. Yeah, you're you're, you're much healthier than I am. So do I roll. Oh, the really quick right. register. The fowl's wings, claws, and beak leave no wounds, but the noise and stench is unbearable. So three horror will plus one negate. Well, plus one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I've got the Holy Cross. Resolve an additional tie. Or, er, roll one additional die. I won't resolve any of those. Four. Nice. So, two? So, two. Yeah. So you Separate. take one you horror. You spend a clue to not take sure. any horror. But it looks like you're... You flip all flip of your, your faith of horror, even yeah. if you take all of it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Minor shock. Nyctophobia? Whenever you end your turn... dark. In a space with darkness, suffer one face down horror. Oh, okay. It's not great. Especially because I got a light oh. source, but... Uh, would it have been better to end my turn with Alex and take the thing so I can go give him the missing link? Well, can Alex you still move two? You can't move two. No, I was here, mm -hmm. and I moved two. But instead of having done that, oh, I could have made sure. it here so that next turn right. we can trade. Right, but also remember you have a broken light. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I totally forgot about it. So I definitely do that. Yeah, I d you definitely <laughs> do that. And then I steal one of your things. Hopefully the missing link. <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, you're not going to get to the guy for another... Neither of you is going to get to the guy for another two turns. Nope. <laughs> Just one of them. <laughs> Forensic evidence. You're going to have another chance at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's cool. Um, Ends with my moves two spaces toward the street two. It's already on Street 2. No, oh, it's already on Street 2. Or was it just supposed to spawn? Maybe I messed it up, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Sorry, internet, we're wrong. Alright. We'll check the video. How did I end up with the flux thing? I gave it to you. Because you actually attack on arm, but I don't. Oh, did I give you the flux thing? Yeah, you gave me the flux thing. I That's the thing that allows me to. I didn't mean to do that. I, I meant to give you, like, I meant to give you all my evidence, and yeah. it's, it's the same color, so. Yeah. Several my members of the Innsmouth mob grow impatient, and they're firmly send out one of their number to hunt you down. Spawn a maniac in the Innsmouth mob's space. Maniac moves two spaces for the nearest investigator. I feel like that doesn't even need counting. Yeah, right. Oh, now you're within range. Close with the range right. of, the yeah. of the maniac. All right, let's do it. Riding back and forth and singing in a low voice, the maniac tosses a bloody knife from hand to hand. Will two successes. Mm, let's look at this. I suck. Nope. Uh, if you pass, you force your attention elsewhere. If you fail, you recognize the song as one of you, one your mother sang to you. Suffer one face down a hole. Oh, not restrained anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. 
you have not been. And the mythos phase. So I only have one. One more. Insane. Or before you go one insane. more before I go insane. So I should I should do some stuff to you. Do you have the Bible? I do. Okay. All right. So should I go first? Sure. And then I will do that, and then heal you, heal one of your face down with the Bible, and move, Paranoia. and move one here. Do you have the thing? Oh, there? I don't. I don't have the thing. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't have the thing. If you want to go first, put that back face down. Oh, what don't you have? Oh, you don't have the evidence. No, but if he evidence. goes in there, then you can't heal him because he'll be out of That's what I'm trying to say. We're trying yeah. to figure out what the re so he could give me the stuff and run this way, and then I could go that way, or I, I could. You just heal me and go that way, and I go that way. That works either way. That works. All right, cool. So I heal you and go this way. So you just guard one face down, or um, and then you're gonna go give him the thing. Yes. So well, you can only move one, right? I can only move one, and then. You have another action. I have another action. Is it you can only if you move more than a single space as part of a move action? You do have. A... Did you read that as you, do you take two move actions and move once each? As part of, if you move more than a single space as part of a move action. Yeah. If you move one as each for each move action. Oh, okay, so you can move twice so long as they're separate move actions. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I interpret that. What does it say? If you move if you move more than a single space, space. Uh, as, as part of a part move, part of a of move action. action, yeah, that's so you can take yeah. two move actions so long as you only move one, one each space. Time. Yeah, that makes sense. But if you try to take two move actions and move four, you take double damage. Right, it wouldn't just be one. So there's a, yeah. like a downside yeah. to it too. Okay. All right, Stephanie, you want to just come over here and search some stuff? I'm gonna like, go search another boat into the into snack the shack. shack snack bar. Into the frozen boat. bananas. What it, the, the things he said that we had to do were light the lantern and, and ding the bell. Ding the bell. So I'm feeling like. Did you like, ever come through here? Yes, I did. No, you walked around around this did way, didn't we? you? You ran around no, this way. No, you're right. Took the long way. Did you, did you waste a turn la a movement last time, or did you? I don't remember. I talked to him, right? You moved one. And I moved searched. One. You could have moved again. I could have moved again. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So that was, this is theoretically last turn. We're rewinding right. it, but it's, it's so many moving parts here. End of the beach, there's a small step up to a wooden dock. The visitor in the beach may reveal the adjacent area. There's another oh. area. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Well, there's two more adjacent areas. There's two more, yeah. Uh, we're going to we're gonna have to move this whole thing down. Maybe. No, I don't no. think we do. I think we have to do... Yeah. yeah. yeah I think you we have to move the microphone. Yeah. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we, audio we need the rental thing. dock and dock two tiles. How about a houseboat rental dock? I'd love a boat right now. What's the other one called? Dock, dock two, two and rental dock. Oh, dock two is right at the top. There we go. So, like dock. rental dock goes like adjacent to this one. Yeah, we just kind of kept getting like, we should probably do all this stuff over here. Yeah. Sooner because the mob's coming for us. Yeah. Uh, this goes like this, yeah. Mm hmm. Alright, so there's that. We see that all on the map. It's at the, right at the very edge. Yep. That's good enough. Uh, number, number of robots are stacked on the dock. Place a search token as indicated. <laughs> uh, small boat rental stand stands at the dock, but it looks to be closed for the night. Place an explore token as indicated. In the dock, an unlit lantern, lantern. Is one of the supports. Where would the bell be? Probably in there. Maybe. Possibly over the here. The other side of the rental dock, an alley. Another alley. Oh, could we have gone all the way over around? Wow. We probably could have. Yeah. Site this is yeah. crazy. This is, this is, well, this is yeah, it's much crazier than the first one we did. Okay, so this is all happening. Can I zoom in, zoom out? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, okay. so I could go back here and explore that. I'm pretty sure all the stuff or, we need is over there. Yeah. And we're, but we're also going to want to run. So you can either, so we have two options basically. Either you can come and do this stuff while we stumble that way. <laughs> and you would probably still get ahead of us. Yeah. Or you can go down there and try to figure out exactly what's important. Which sounds like a better idea to you since you're the mobile one. <laughs> Sucks. The mobile one. Um, oh, let's see. Well, you've got a couple of turns before they're catching up to you. Did we already act during this mythos phase? 
or this investigator phase, Adam and me? Did we already do that? Did yes, yes, yeah, yeah, right. that was what we oh, did just now. Okay. So that so this was Stephanie's turn last turn. Mm-hmm. Should have had yes. that happen, and now Stephanie's going to take her turn now. Okay, and you guys already went. Uh-huh. Yeah, but theoretically. It's going to take at least three turns without anybody pushing them. Well, the thing is, he moves two if nothing else happens, then I move him back one and then I run at least one. So yeah, that's why I don't know that. Still a little bit of time. But the problem is, do I want to like search this stuff or do I want to keep moving? Why don't I head that way? Because we might not even need that stuff if we... Yeah, the only danger is if we need something over here and then we can't get it because the mob rolls through. That's... I, don't, I, don't. I, I but you guys are only moving one, right? So you're yeah. going to be searching it and then moving well, it. We could do two move actions to move two. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So I mean, if you think all the stuff's over there, go for it. The only thing... We know that the lantern's over there. Yeah. The yeah. only thing we don't know about is the bell. It's probably not in the snack stand. Or if we need a boat. I don't know if we actually need a boat to get to him. Oh. Yeah. I don't know that we need a boat. That's a good question. Well, there are several the boats. Boats are over there. There are several boats to choose from, so it makes me think that we have to take a rowboat to get to him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, there's the one here. There's the Well, I can investigate there. this one as I go. That's yeah. true. So why don't, so the Stephanie, one, you head over this to is here. Where yeah, the if you can find is, the good boat, one then. question. Because this one was a number of rowboats are stacked in the dock. So are you, do you want to investigate the rental sn- shack or, or move your two units and then search? The problem is, if I move there, doesn't it reveal the alley? It will reveal the alley, next alley. Yeah. Which I don't know that I want to do. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to search this now. Sure. And then I'll search that next turn. Okay. Once painted, happy, happy blue. Blue is not correctly feeling. Are you going to do it? Okay, yeah. Creek. Someone has left lead on inside the boat rental. You spot the rental logbook open on the table in the middle of the room. You place a search token as indicated and discard this explore token. You may move into the explored area. Sure. You have one movement left, technically. Yeah, but if I want to explore yeah. this next turn, then it doesn't there. make sense. All right, cool. So, and this last phase? Yep. Well, that's the lock, so that's not the bell. Those are boats, not the bell, not the bell. The bell has to be over here. Yeah, it has to be one of those. This might be the bell. All right, I'll go through. Each painting and photograph on the walls seems to watch you. The mythos of NFX investigator in a hall, office, or study with the lowest sanity. I don't even think there is a hall. Well, there's halls, I guess. Is there? Yeah. We're in a library. I'm in a library, yeah. That doesn't... counts. It isn't there. There are a couple halls. No effect? So, no effect, I guess. No effect. Having circled the building, the mob slams oh. the window of the hotel and throws a torch in an attempt to smoke you out. Place the torch common item as indicated. Uh-oh. Are they setting it on fire? They might They're be. setting the building on fire. Uh, here they are. Yeah. So it goes in this square. The fire from the torch yep. spreads quickly as soon as the hotel is ablaze. Place the fire as indicated. We'll have a relook at the fire rules after this. Yep. Um, this mom moves two towards the alley corner. Uh, no one's getting bet. No one's getting hit. Maniac moves two spaces to be within range of invest- as many investigators as possible. And taxi investigator within within range with the lowest. Two- oh, so he's actually attacking. Not in his space. He's attacking within range. So he's actually in range of me, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Sonji's grin is lit from below as a blossoming flame. Soon a bottle of fire spreads to the air to shatter at your feet. Place fire in your space. Whoa! You're sprayed with broken glass and burning petrol. Suffer one face down damage. Agility in the gates. <laughs> I feel like we're going to lose this game, guys. Well, I think it's trying to smoke us out. Wow. It's doing a good job. All right. I negated the one face down damage. Woo! Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range. So that's just me, right? Yep. yep. Maniac. I don't have my wither anymore, so I can't take him in range. No. Having a loud screaming argument with no one that you can see. Will two. Uh, two dice for this. I'm going insane. Nope. Nope. Uh, if you fail, you realize that the maniac screams answer perfectly with your own internal monologue. Suffer one face down horror and become dazed.
You cannot spend clue tokens to convert dice or perform additional puzzle steps. And you turn to discard this. Well, that's just not a problem. <laughs> All right, and let's look up fire again. Yeah. Fire is a feature that is harmful to investigators and monsters. Whenever an investigator moves into a space containing fire, he suffers one face down damage. After an investigator in a space containing fire performs an action other than the move action, if there's fire in a space, he suffers a face down damage. If you forfeit an action in a space containing fire, you suffer a face down damage. As an action, you may attempt to extinguish the flames by testing agility. For each success he rolls, you can discard a fire from his space or a space he moves to later in the round. Whenever a monster starts to activate from a space containing fire, it moves. Or moving into a space containing fire, it suffers one damage. At the beginning of each mythos phase, before a mythos event is resolved, the fire spreads. If one or more spaces contain fire, place one fire token in an adjacent space to a space that contains fire. Sorry. Place one fire token in a space adjacent to a space that contains fire. The apple display a reminder for this effect. When fire is placed by the set fire action or card effect, the investigator should select the set fire option in the in-game menu. An investigator can place fire in a space or adjacent space by performing the set fire action. Uh, fire cannot be placed in a space that contains fire. Um, Alright, cool. Um, so that's that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. phase. This gives not great. Yeah. So, okay. uh, this is the investigator now, phase, right? Yeah. I, yep. I think you should interact with them. I don't see why he would. Yeah. Like, I, oh, the bell isn't wrong. Yeah, the, right. The ship isn't ready. I'm going nowhere. Yet. Yeah. I'm staying put. That's a terrible agent. That's yeah. Place. All right. So what you, you want to go That's first? That's what Alex? I'm going to do. Yeah. So right. I'm going to interact with Craven. Craven. Let's hope that it's as logical as we want it to be. Uh, Agent Craven is fervently looking over what appears to be a record of immigration. This is the same this thing. This is the same thing. Okay. As it was before. So nope. you're going to show I him. I got the thing. Yes. Yep. This is exactly. Go ahead. The lead I need. We should get out of the city as soon as possible. I will stay here and collect whatever evidence I can until the boat arrives. Gain two clues. All right. Very cool. So that wasn't. Uh, wasn't a complete. We probably waste. needed to do that at some yeah. point. And then are you going to move here? Yeah. And then I'll move. But all right. So now my question. So my question on my turn, I could try to put the fire out. Uh. Or I could do this, take the fire damage, and just walk away. I'm thinking trying to put the fire out is actually better. I probably, but you're not really great. Did fire spread in this it game? It does. It does. So putting the fire out might be the thing to do. Yeah. So beginning my turn, I move him back. Okay. Sure. Right, that way he, uh, he'll take longer to get to us. And then let's double check the fire rules here. But I think I roll an agility test. Before you do it, oh, yeah, um, I do remember you saying that. I don't remember what the difficulty was. As an action investigator, you attempt to extinguish the flames by testing his agility. For each success he rolls, you may discard fire from his space or a space he moves into later in the round. Okay, so three agility. Nice. Got it. Got it. Remove that fire, and then I should I search this thing? Sure. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Very awesome. Do we think the bell would be in a... Nah. Whatever. Alright. Well, we determined we just have to go through everything. Where the bell... Yeah. yeah. I, wouldn't, I mean, it wouldn't be in the snack shack. I don't think Maybe so. Maybe we should have had you look first, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, well. Uh, so, observation. I need two more. Another. Uh, one. One. Boom. You find a trade rope and molding uh, fishnet, but nothing you must take with you. Okay. Oh, but it didn't go there. away. So there must still be a thing to search for. Yeah. That's unfortunate. And so this is my turn then. Okay, so now Do I... Do you have no gonna clues? Interact with that. Mm. No. I don't. I use them all fighting. All right, so you're going to search? Mm-hmm. Uh, or I can remove face out horror cards with actions, but... Yeah. All right. Logbook. Search the logbook. Oh, I don't care about the Marsh family. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah. The Marsh family once wrote it a pontoon. No, then. Or once rented a pontoon. And then you want to move the other uh. question mark? <laughs> I think I'll move that. Wait. Yeah, yeah I'll, I guess I'll move over there. Oh, okay. reveal the. Uh, and that's our turn? Site, that does reveal, reveal the site token. Oh, yes. Unfortunately. Sorry, audio. This you may reveal the area. 
Oh. I guess we might as well. Might as yeah, well. maybe there's a bell back there. That would suck, but yeah. Oh, oh my god. You peered out a dark alley to the east of the building. Place the alley corner one and alley one as indicated. This has been ridiculous. It is. Oh, give me half a stack. Oh, there's alley one. There's alley one. It's a street corner two. Street corner two? Or what are we looking for? We're looking alley for alley corner, corner one. one. No, street corner one. I have it. And I'm not getting maniacs all over. Maniacs off their faces. I must have it. I just didn't see it. Okay. I have street corner one. Alley N. Street corner. Alley corner one. It was right. just on the other side. Yeah. And then yeah, we just started that question mark, right? Yep. See a drunk old man slumped against a crate. There's a person token yeah. as indicated. We're ignoring that guy. We are ignoring that guy. He's the Clearly, he is the key to solving this mystery. No, it's not that guy. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I got a, a figure peered through an alley from a door leading into the adjacent block. Place a person token as indicated. This is a boy. Yeah. Uh, another door leads to a tower that stretches high above the rest a of the tower. buildings. Place tower would have a bell, right? An explore token as indicated. Presumably. All right. All right, so that all happened. So that was Stephanie's turn. Um, and now we go on the Mythos phase? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You searched. Oh, okay, and your other action was putting up the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's where we get messed up. Fire spreads out of control. Puts fires in a space adjacent to a space. self <laughs> In any space? Yeah. Can I do that? Fire spreads. Alright. Popping and hissing. The flames leap higher. Mythos event affects each investigator in a space containing or adjacent to fire. No effect. No effect. Nice. No! One point, the mob cried out in a language not understanding. The response was repulsive creature emerges from the water. Spawn a deep one as it is. This is not good. Adam's gonna die. I'm a deep one here. I am gonna die. I kind of want to play this. Someone in the mob seems yeah, right? to realize your plans and to use a boat to escape. Oh, thank you. They're telling us what to do. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, the crowd begins heading to the docks to stop you once and for all. A number of the locals break away from the mast to circle the building in the opposite direction. Spawn a riot. As so another riot. Riot. They're now. This one is an actual riot, not yeah. a 72 health mob. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ends with mob moves two spaces toward alley two. Each investigator who shared a space. No. Nope. They attack. Uh, each investigator within range. So, is that you? Yep. Okay. Mob uh, hurl stun Suffer bomb. base down damage. Uh, so, you're one away from... one health from dying, yes. Oof. Yeah, this game really wants you to yeah. do things. Yeah. Maybe I move two space for the nearest investigator. Uh, no investigators. Demon moves space for the nearest investigator. Wah, wah, wah. Here, yeah. here we go, guys. Lowest strength. Yeah. Creature's webbed fingers grab, grip a heavy chunk of bone, pale coral, which lifts above its head and swings directly at you. Suffer two damage, strength plus one negates. So it's four. I get one damage, I die. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Why couldn't you roll like that earlier? I know. The riot uh, moves up to two spaces. To be in a space with as many investigators as possible, then text each investigator in space. Oh, it just moves two spaces. It doesn't say it's. It doesn't actually even say it's moving in one direction. Towards. Right Let's see, it is one, two, three, four, Earlier five, six. Earlier, it did one, say two, that it's going to move around four, the other five, direction. Six. It's so. closer to this one, so. So move that way. But it, yeah, but it also doesn't say it's moving toward anyone. It just moves with as many investigators as possible. But there, but there aren't any, so it doesn't really like. It doesn't give a direction. The yeah. earlier slide it did, did say, say that to it, go that way. It was, it's, we'll go, it's true. It did say yeah. that it was like splitting off, so yeah. we'll go with that. Oh. Toward the nearest investigator. Okay, so it does. All right, so it should go that way. It should go that it should way. Go that way. Okay. okay. All right, so it was correct. It was just a little confusing. Yep. Each investigator was resolved a horror check. Um, so the, bra the, the riot is highest. The giant is mob. Yeah, it's seven. That was a seven? Mm -hmm. A horror check? Isn't that the blue number? 
the bottom right. Oh, the bottom right. It's four, four, four. So. Yeah, we'll go against them. People are having casual conversations, discussing the terrible things they intend to do, the objects of their anger. Their jovial manner regarding these atrocities is deeply unsettling. Suffer so two horror. Uh oh. But I only rolled two of those. Yes. Whoa! Wow. I am a. Uh, I also roll one. Yeah, you do. Oh, this is against the deep one, though, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Deep one. So I guess we should have done that one. So it would have been quicker. Yeah, I guess that's fine. That's not. There's no. Right, let's just get that right. one. Oh, that's right. I got the wrong yeah. one. You're clicking the wrong thing. Yeah. Deep one's movements and manners are subtly terribly human. So for two horror, will plus one negates. So roll four. You got clues. Yeah. I got clues. Despair. Spend one of them. Might as well spend one. Ah, almost. Impressive. Actually, that one becomes a success and nothing. So I didn't die, you guys. Yes. Um, Which okay. is crazy. So you are pushing and running, right? Right. Because we don't think we need anything. I'm pretty sure the bell's up here. Pretty sure pretty the bell's sure the lantern's the tower. over there. Yeah. And if we need a boat to escape, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those boats. All right. So should I go first then? Sure. Sure. Push, Push. that way. Run. One, one. Yep. Yep. Should I just move as well? Just one and one? Yeah, that way he can look at that token while you go to the bell yeah. tower. Yeah. Wait, which token? He... The one on your square he can look at while you go to He's not going to get that I'm part. not going to get that part. No, but you have to go in there. You have to do it. You have to do the whole thing. You're going to be doing a yeah, whole yeah. bunch of stuff while I'm... No, I, ju I was just saying he can't even get to the top. No, not this but turn. I'm next turn. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so now move me. There. And I interact with the red thing. We, we went the total wrong we direction. We totally did, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think there was as many clues over there, so I don't think we would have gotten all the information about That's true. them if we had gone that way. Your leads to a tower that's just high above. No, I don't have, have keys. Oh, I've got them. Tarnished the silver lock. <sighs> Yeah. It won't even let us open it. Yeah. Oh, is one of these right, people have the key? That wasn't an action, though, was it? No. Okay, so you guys can go to the dude. The boy's supposed to be That was higher. one movement. The boy's oh, supposed, to be, supposed to be up here. Yeah. See, he's right he's there. He's probably just going to be a monster. Well, I mean, we've we, we, we got nothing to do at this point. Yeah, at All this right. point, we've got nothing else to go boy. on. Young boy peers in the eye from the side door. He seems to be curious what all the commotion is about. All right, approach. approach. That's the boy for help. You can do that. Yeah, Hella good five at that. successes. Oh wow! He turns into a jet plane, and you see it. <laughs> <laughs> the boy tells you that you will find something good oh. in the snack shack, but you will need the key from Henderson's to get it. Ah, that's mine. I have that. Gain not gain good. one clue. The boy shuts the door and runs off the lights. Discard the person. Guys, we are we have lost this. We're, we're pretty sure we have. We should, we, we should we need to play it out though. Alright, so that was the end of that turn, right? Yep. Especially now that they're attacking from range and throwing bottles at me. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna it's gonna it's gonna be bad. So, so you have the key from cool. you have the key from Henderson's. I have it, yeah. That goes here, so put it here. So they'll run into it and take damage. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I like it. And then we have to put another one, right? That's adjacent to this one. Fire spreads out of control. Place a fire in a space adjacent to a space containing fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we don't do it for each space. First. That's the way I read it. That's Just the way I read it. one space yeah. gets fired over. Unbidden the terrible things you have seen up from memory. Oh. Each investigator flips two horror face up. Well, this, I flip this one up. I flip both those. They flip right back up. I'm going to presume that I can't flip this one face up, resolve its effect that flips it face down, and flip it again. Because that's I believe that is correct. Uh -oh. Panic, resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down damage. Yeah, we lost. Face down. Oh, no, no, I'm not dead because it's like, I get the thing. You get a thing? Yeah, uh, it's like an injured card. Suffer so one additional face down damage. But isn't that your max? Yeah, there's a thing. Oh, Just like when you go insane. That's right. Uh, I forgot about that. You don't immediately die. Wounded, that's the word. Wounded and insane, you guys. You cannot perform the move action more than once each round when you have suffered damage equal to your health, you're eliminated. Anyway, uh, I'll look up damage just to read this out loud. There's been no, like, healing things. We no, there anything. really haven't If an been. investigator has suffered damage, whether face up or face down, equal to or exceeding his health, he becomes wounded. When an investigator becomes wounded, he gains a wounded condition and discards all of his face down damage powers. Luckily, I discarded that one that I just got, so that's kind of cool. Uh... 
uh, when wounded investigator suffers damage equal to the city's health, then investigator is eliminated. All right, so I have two two damage now. I, I move. I'm at a broken leg, and I can only move once a turn. Uh, did everyone <laughs> flip up their horror? My horror already flipped yeah. up. So mob moves two spaces toward the pier. That way it's that one. Roll, 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 roll. Each investigator in shared space moves, blah, blah, blah. No investigators in space. Nice. May I move two spaces toward the engineer's investigator? Or does he just fall off his face? Yeah, so keep him outside so I can move him, I can move him back. No investigators in space. Devo moves to nearest investigator. So, toward me again. Yep. No investigators in space. Right, move two spaces to be in. So there's no investigator within two spaces. Move two spaces for the move to through a fire. Yes. Yes. Read the fire rules. This takes down one of its 72 health, maybe. That one only has 18 health. This one only has oh, 18. okay. Yeah. Uh, what, what, uh, whenever a monster starts to activation in a space containing fire or moves into a space containing fire, so there's damage. Yeah, so just one. So I'll do that when I get somebody. It's a shame you can only move one. Otherwise, you could be setting fire and then. So I can't do it now. I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> when you can. Yeah. Maybe I should have left the fire there. Yeah. So. Um. So. The mob and so the. You are in. Deep you one. are in range of the deep one. Yeah. I'm in range of many a thing. So why don't we just <laughs> both do the deep one? Yeah. Stephanie's Stephanie very frustrated on the other side of the. Building. I have suggested familiarity cause you to frantically think back over your family tree, Lord 2. I'll do that. Cool. Did you use it? Yeah, I'm gonna spend one. Okay, so if you fail, you suffer one more and become stunned, which is bad. I got four of them. Yes, you are confident. You share no bloodline with these monsters. I got it too. We're good. Nice. We're good. All right. You guys, we survived a turn. I didn't think we were going to survive. No. <laughs> so, um, the mini mob took one damage. Took a damage. Yeah, so 17 more to go. <laughs> um, all right then. All right, so there's something good in here. We don't know if it's necessary. Yeah, we don't know that it's necessary. And you it doesn't have the seem key, like right? the, I have the key, but you have the key to that. It doesn't seem like we can even open the oh, right. door to the tower. You have the key to the snack sack, Jack. I do. So the key's probably in there. You think? Well, we Where need, else? Instead of it a silver lock, so we need like a silver key. And this is like the only things we haven't investigated. Fortunately, this one's mobbed, literally. I think me. I, I mean, like I'm only can I can only move one. Away at a time, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna get caught eventually here. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, do we just kind of stand and fight? I don't know. I think you guys maybe circle around and then maybe I can pull them far enough away. But I don't circle know. Circle around? No. This is gonna turn in. This is gonna be a come fired. I mean, I could go in, in here mm -hmm. and at least avoid the mob and avoid yeah. horror checks. Yeah, you wanna try that at least? Maybe I can try to pull him in here and then get out this way. Like, give can it a shot. Like, if I end, he if I go here yeah. and push him back, mm -hmm. nothing can get me next turn, at yeah. least. Yeah. And then uh, maybe I'll give you guys a chance to come over here and do stuff. Maybe. Maybe do, give us a on chance. On the, this turn for me, do I want to just move one here and investigate the I mean, That's the most, like, the useful, useful thing that thing. I can at do. This right point, right at this point, I think we're screwed. I think so too. Because but we have I think to, that doesn't matter. We just have to figure out what we want to do. I know. I'm saying I think the key's in the snack shack, and that means that if we can't get yeah. in the snack shack, then I think we've lost. Um, I think the little kid telling me something good is in the snack shack, though, is like a weapon. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, I think, think it's just a weapon. It okay. something fun. Like, so Alex should go to one of those two places, and since that one is accessible, mm -hmm. maybe he should this do that turn. one. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, so Alex, you want to go first? Yeah, I'm going to go first and search the pile of boats. Both boats, boats. Indeed. You attempt to push one of the boats into the water, but discover it's chained to the dock. You glance over the rest of the boats and find them tethered as well. You'll need to find a way to bring the fishing boat to you. Before turning your attention elsewhere, you decide to search the boats for anything of use. All right, so it tells us things we already know. Yeah, but maybe, maybe if we bring the... If we go do the light, maybe something will happen. Yeah. I say Stephanie goes for that while I try to draw the monsters away and we see if we see what we can do. 
I say clue it up. You clue <laughs> what it up. What else are you going to do? Clue token. Yep. All right. Nice. You pull up a tarp that covers the bottom oh. of the boat to discover a dead body. Nice. You can the key! Suffer two <laughs> horror. Uh, will negates. The brass first. key. Oh my god. Is that the brass key? That's the one that opens this door. Oh wow. So I get one horror. And his gun's in there. Apparently. Uh, you, you know, Startled. Kind of dead you staggered man. backwards in alarm. No effect. Discard this card. It's the body of Agent Brimley. His... Uh, gun is missing from the holster, but you find a key labeled number two. Gain the brass key unique item and one clue. Then discard the search items. Alright. That. Uh, we're getting the brass key unique item, which we're on top. It's not the silver key that we need. <laughs> it's not the old keys either, which we still don't know what, you know, what they're for. What they're for. Yeah, right. Um, okay, so it's definitely, if you want to run, you can either go to that, the man in the corner, mm-hmm. or you can. Run and get to the end of the dock. Get close to the end I of the dock. I might as well the end of the dock, right? We don't think the man on the corner is going to. It's probably just a Two, matter. three, four. And then I push the deep one back. Yeah. And then I hobble in here and I can do one thing. I guess I could heal myself, right? Yeah. It's um, probably a good thing. Discard a face down horror. Sure. I'll make my final sledgehammer stand in here. Because you're still going to have to. Suffer the horror from him, right? Because he's going to come in this way. That's correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I hadn't moved him back, he would have gotten to me. So. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, we can actually make him go. You this can way. make oh, him go on the okay. outside. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to do this and see how quickly oh, I die. Oh man. Well, at least I might be able to get the lantern. So might not be able to do one of the things. Spread it onto the riot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bad idea, you guys. Fire so is it dark and fire in here? I think it's no longer. I, I think it's no longer dark because fire counts as. Jenny Barnes' bones creak and become as brittle as stale bread. Jenny Barnes suffers two face down damage and two horror will negates. She then flips three face horror face up and becomes dazed. Good Ooh. Not good. All right. Um. Two face down damage, two horror will negates. I forgot to roll my additional one for. Her. Oh well, nothing. Um. So if I were to turn these into two successes... You could negate either the damage or the horror, or one of each. I don't even know that that's worth it. I could take them both. Take all four? Right? I can take all four and still be okay, so... You want to do that? I think so. Alright, so you get two face down days damage. Um, I think you can't use... Yeah, you can't use clue tokens. For oh. Yeah. For one yeah, I was going to say, somebody earlier was dazed, but I don't think it impacted anything. No, because I don't include tokens. And then you get two regular horror. Alright, so three, hard. six. Yep, sir. And then you would flip your horror face up, but all your horror is face up, so. Flip one damage face up, flip this card face down. So does that mean that I do that twice? Mm-hmm. I think Alright, you get to do it twice. Yeah, so you, you do that one. Like, and then again. do it again yeah. because it's having a separate part. It's, it's having a separate, a separate parts, yeah. Okay. Now one flips the face down, right? Yep. Flip the scar face down, flip okay. the scar face Mob down. Mob moves two spaces toward the beach. So now I'm two away in each. And more in damage. No investigators in space. Man moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator, so we're going to have him move this way, right? Yep. Investigators in space. Deep in space before the investigator. It has to move there. Now you can't move them back now. Are, are they technically within range? They're not they're because there's a door in the yeah. way. They're in range of us, though. Mm-hmm. Right, move two spaces to be in space with as many investigators as possible. No investigators in two spaces. He's going to move in here with me. So you're boned. Oh, oh yeah, I'm totally boned. Yeah. <laughs> but there's nowhere else. Uh, there's else. nothing else if to I do. If I had gone yeah. here, then... They would have got. They would all jump on me next turn. So either way, I'm getting jumped on next turn. We haven't even found the freaking bell. No, no, we no. haven't. Yeah. Each investigator must resolve. It might just be here. It, it might just be over. Resolve a horror oh check against monster within range. So you it's guys are both within both range of this pile. So the deep one or the riot. deep one or the riot or the mob. Right? Don't care. All right, so you guys are gonna do the deep one. Sure. Deep one begins to mumble something alien in alien tongue. Uh, suffer two horror. Lorna Gates. No, 
dice. So that okay. hits. Lord. Yes. Cool. And then I'm resolving a horror check against the riot. Crowd calls your name. Then a litany of what unspeakable profanity they intend to visit upon you. Will two. I only roll two dice. Because I have afraid nerves. Fail, you cannot stop dwelling on the more colorful entries on the list. Suffer to horror. So you're still alive? I'm still alive. Or Pending these cards. Maybe. So I'll immediately suffer one additional face nope. down horror. Uh, nope, no longer. And that That's the end of the game. Kills me. So well no, we you guys get one you more. Get one more oh that's right. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, so that is an epic. Okay. So I'm gonna go out It says ring the bell in the tower. If only we had read that sooner, we would have known that we needed to find a tower. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that we should have kept going. That's okay. Alright. Um So I'm gonna go. Yeah, just yeah. to see what it is. So we we, we think we gotta get something over here, that. but we can't do it. You have a light source? I do have a light source. Yes, I have do. an oil lamp. Alright. So I, I lantern burns light brightly, it's light piercing through the fog. <laughs> On Come the bay, focus. you see a light flash twice. If you can signal the boat, you could escape. Become focused, then discard this search token. Great. You're focused, at least. Woo! Alright, Joe Diamond. Too bad uh, the game is after Joe Diamond's turn now. <laughs> you, you can wither somebody. Yeah, I totally do. I shoot down the alley. Who's are gonna shoot? Uh, anybody taking damage? The mob, or the riot has, but they have the you highest. can't see him. Oh, yeah. Alright, go for the maniac. Maniac. Tango spell. Trace a mystical sigil in the air. Or two. One. <laughs> nope. Uh, fail flip the spell you attacked with. You see the spell ripple and spread from where it hit your target. You suffer one face down damage, and the monster suffers one additional damage. Then discard this card and gain another wither spell. Well, we will. Uh... Not worry about that too much yeah. since. Well, what damage do I take? Alright, it was face down damage, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, end game. Wah, wah, wah. Realizing you intend to escape, the mob descends on the docks. They tear planks from the wharf and set fire to the boats. With your only escape cut off by the crowd, you flee inland, running through the claustrophobic streets. Suddenly, you're confronted by a large group of shambling locals who descend upon you. Countless slimy hands pin you down and bind your limbs. Once secured, you're dragged through the streets towards your gruesome fate. All the while, the locals stare after you with large, unblinking eyes. The end. <laughs> <laughs>